Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Morning, everyone. Everyone's here. So the whole gang's here back, which is nice. Got Eileen and Helen. And hi, Kimberly. And we got Ann, Terry, Sherry, Dawn. And we appreciate everybody being here. We're going to um, work out of this book. It's an, it's uh, Kathy got it on the Kindle. She didn't have it. I can't believe you didn't have this. I know. I couldn't either. I know. I really I, like her. So the um, we're going to work out. This is a book from 2008. I did put the link to Amazon description. It's in the below to the book if you're watching the recording. And so we're going to do, there's a step-by-step -step in here. And I'm going, the only thing I'm not doing because I don't have it is this plaster heart. I I have had used that before, but I don't currently have any of that stuff. But oh, I, and I gonna, have some of that, Colleen. Oh, cool. And if you wanted, you could do that then. And then if you, I'm going to be putting it on this instead of, um, I think she's a wood canvas. So I'm going to be doing everything except for the heart. And so this is a, a really good book from, I guess, 2008 by Kelly Ray Roberts. And I've got, um, and then we're also going to be doing, oh, if I can hold on to them. I'm going to be, I got one set of the flat shakers, thank God, because the other sets that came out with were the sparkle. And um, I got this one because this one would have my favorite colors. Good Are morning. those um, how many's in the set? Good morning, Nettie. There's five in the set, and this one had no purples in it. The other two sets, one had one purple, the other had two purples, and I would definitely say purple is a color. I don't typically hardly ever use. So I decided to get this one. I use all these colors I use. So there are three sets. I got them at Joggles. And um, they have them on the Lindy's website as well. So we're going to just do that on some watercolor paper. And we're going to work on this. And we'll do our prompt card. And... I think that's it, unless uh, Kathy has anything to show. I don't have anything to show today. No, Wait. just um, no. I have nothing to show. Um, I okay. just I had a quick question. Are mm -hmm. they? Um, is this set now? Is that new colors? Or are they bringing out the old colors and the new containers? I think these are new. Okay. These are new colors. Oh, good. Created by nu nu Nukia, or I never can say her name. She's Nukia. Uh, I think it's uh, pronounced Nukia. Nukia and F R A U ponies. This one's called. Uh, this one's called Vinny's View. How much are they? This was twenty-two. I think it joggles. That's not bad. So you get $22. That's roughly, you know, $5, less than $5 per container. And they do go, magicals go a long way. So the nice thing is they go a long way. So this one I like because it has normal colors. Like uh, this is Cafe Tan Terrace Tangerine. Um uh, where are the names? Rolling the hay. Uh, That's a funny one. Uh, ear ears looking at at you, Olive. Those are good colors. <laughs> Bring the house brown. That's pretty. Oh, I bet you that's pretty. Yeah, this one is almost like a maybe like a burnt sienna. It's really pretty. And this one is Portrait Blazer Blue. Are and they in a different shape than the other? 
Um, um, yeah, you mean in the skinny ones we have? Yeah. Yeah. How about the tops? Are they perforated? Let's see. I haven't opened them yet. Oh, oh this is... Game on you. I just got them yesterday. No. Okay, hold on. So you don't want to do that. Hold on. I can figure this out without spilling them. There's a little... Hmm. I, that's... I'm going to move this over to the side for a spill it. This is hard to work. So there's a little shaker that you flip on up, but it's definitely not easy to open, at least initially. At least for me. There. I'd be careful opening it. So it has... Now the other one, we just... Remember uh, the tall ones we just screwed the lid on? There was no little, um, you know, cover thing. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? That's, you see what I like how yeah. that that is because you can clip oh that's yeah nice. and then you won't have to worry because the other ones just had this on the top and then the cap and it didn't come off and right. and so um it, it'd be interesting to see if they sell refills of this later since this comes off too i don't know if they would ever do that but be careful when you initially open it because that was that was a little hard to get started. I think what I'll do is I'll just lightly close it and not like, you know, push it hard, at least while I'm using them. So that I like the top. So um, that's that. If you want to, um, I got the link to, well, this isn't about, oh, I put the link in the description to this. So if you want, if you're interested, they have different sizes. I put the link I have, the one I have, and I think we're good to go. All the other stuff is nothing new for this project that we all haven't seen because this book is from 2008. <laughs> yeah, where did you get the palette, Colleen? I got the palette on Amazon, and you get uh, three. This size was three for $9. Is that wooden? It is wood. It's like a wood veneer. And I covered it in clear gesso just to make sure that, you know, like stuff doesn't sink in in one spot or another. So I've never worked with it before. So I did do the back and the front. And then I did the clear gesso on the edges as well. And just, uh, I, you know, I know I'm going to be adding papers on top and matte medium, but I still felt like I should just clear gesso it in just to be, just to be safe. You were enabled yesterday, Mary Beth Shaw, and the one thing I needed already arrived. Uh, what did it, Mary Beth Shaw enable you with, Sophia? Hey, Devin, Nettie, hi, Renee, welcome, thanks for being here, thanks for the links, Dar, and post those, I appreciate it. Oh, that's a shame, Peggy, sorry. Oh, sorry, Peggy. Oh, I am missing stuff. Hold on. Hey, Marguerite. I was going back seeing who I missed when I was yakking. Hey, Terry. Peggy's cousin passed away, so she's going I'm, to go be with family today. Oh, I'm sorry, Peggy. Um, I'm I know sorry, Patty. Peggy. Art Exploration, good morning. My condolences to you, Peggy. We'll get started on the, we'll do the prompts here. And so you'll have the prompts and then, you know, to work on at some point when, you know. Is there a new book coming out next month? Yes, Eileen, there is. Somebody, somebody posted it. I forgot who it was. Posted it in the Facebook group. It's next month. I couldn't yeah. remember when it was. I our remember February, prompts. but I may be wrong. Yeah, let's start our prompts. So Peggy has her prompts. And she's going to 
I have the. X is that is the new book new art journaling prompts? Yeah, yeah it's going to be book three. Oh, good. So that'll work out really good because I think and I think we'll be through ninety nine percent of these in four more sessions. Oh my god, I'm ready to be through this book. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so hard at the end to to find ones we have to good morning jill um we have um tammy just got her forest book and she posted that she got hers yesterday but some people have taken a long time for them to get those and um, I can't remember her name. I'm not sure she's in our Facebook group um, or is able to attend our lives, but watches our recordings, which I appreciate. And she commented on um, the first, first force. We did a, a one and two session. The first one she commented, she had purchased it to play along and had no idea what she's doing. I'm like, we're just kind of like winging it as well because we've not done an all collage either. So, but it's really fun to just start. It's challenging too, but it's fun. So someone who's watched a recording also purchased a book and is going to play along. So uh, we, you know, so I appreciate that. So, and I, um, I don't know if the name she's going by in the comments is her real name or not. I need to look it up at, I can't remember what it was, but I thought that was nice. So to yeah, be able to influence others who who are new people that we don't know. And it was and Wendy, Wendy that posted in the Facebook group about Jules Tillman um Amador and her new book. Oh yeah, it was Wendy. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Um, you're and Jill said she's have oh Jill, your pages are great, by the way. And your forest oh, book. Jill's are really they're so good like the castle that you added in that they're so different i love it you know it's been so fun good. seeing what everybody's doing oh yeah please type in caps if you want us to see it or our mods to see it it gets our attention teresa oh. has some hot foil plates if anybody wants any. I don't know what those are. Hey, Tori. I don't have a clue as to what they are. I have I no idea. Either. I have only 65. You know what they are, Eileen? Oh. Yeah, they're plates that, yeah. I'm trying to see how you would do it. You'd heat them and then you put the foil on them. They're so beautiful. Oh. Is it something that you run through your big shot? No, because that big shot doesn't make things hot. Okay. Oh, did, did, did y'all see um, what Sophia said? New videos about rusting paper through stencils, and they're so beautiful, and it seems super easy. All I need to get was some extra fine wool steel. Yeah, Teresa said you have to have the hot foil press. Oh. Oh, that sounds interesting. Doesn't okay. it? Yeah, okay. So she said her new video is about rusting paper through stencils, and they are so beautiful, and it seems super easy. All I need to get was an extra fine steel wool. I have everything else. That, uh, I would I, love to see that technique. Yeah, I'm going to I should get my phone. I did start, but I'm also going to take a picture of my phone. And I, so I remembered to go check it out. Was that on her YouTube channel? I assume, Sophia. Yeah, was that the was that the Mary Beth Shaw that you were enabled with? Sophia? Yes, it was Mary Beth Shaw. I wonder if that was on. I love that you're doing a painting from that book. I have that book on my shelf and you love Kelly Ray Roberts, right? Renee. Oh, so glad you have the book too. And it is, a, it, don't you just love this book and love this artist? Me too. I thought, why not? We don't always have to be doing something new. We can do some of our, something that we thought you know, for our shelf, right? We got lots and lots of good books. 
new books. I think the last new book I bought was the one from the Fodder School, Arthur. But I really haven't been buying too many of those lately. Oh, and Renee sold her house yesterday. Oh, oh congratulations. congratulations. Wow, congratulations. She said she sold her old house yesterday. That's always a relief. Oh, nice. Teresa said, if you want to see a very cool interactive draw bit draw bridge journal page check out seven plaza yes she she has some good videos seven plaza mm -hmm. hey jasper hey leah let's say hi oh, thanks, Dar. Dar put oh, up tina. The, uh... hello tina hi tina tori oh thank you for uh, putting that link up, Dar. You so you really, we really appreciate you every week. We're yes, helping it is our channel. Extremely helpful. Well, my bank account doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to mute myself on YouTube so I can grab this link. Uh, unfortunately, I can't even like. Even being okay, stencil school, even being the um, you know, the person leading you stream or you stream stream yard. I literally still can't, you still can't grab links when you hop when I hover over the comments with my uh, mouse, it just makes them dis disappear. I can only hide them, <laughs> I can uh, star them or show them, I mean, or whatever. It's crazy. I wish they would get it to where we could click on uh, links in StreamYard. All of us, like, so I have to open YouTube to grab it. I know it's a pain. It is. Otherwise, I don't think we if if we could do that, we wouldn't have to have YouTube open. I know exactly. Uh, she's telling Kimberly it's dirt simple, looked amazing. She tried all sorts of papers. We love trying all sorts of papers. But I mean, can. it's she's awkward. Good. It's awkward to do, but you can like highlight it, copy and paste. But that's that's. Oh, uh, you, you can when it when it when I hover over it, it 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 literally goes uh, disappears. Like, you, so you cannot. Grab it, highlight it. Mm -mm. Huh. That's not, not highlight it, but just, you know, grab, you know. Yeah, I can click the three buttons. I can ban, time out, star it, and that's it. Or show it. So you can. Yeah, we can't. You know why, Helen? Because when we go to, like, click on it to, to pick it up, we see show. The show thing pops up. Yeah, the word show would be on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's why we can't. Oh, okay. I know. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's do some prompts for Peggy. Everyone keep Peggy in your Peggy in your pairs for her her recent loss. And uh we'll get this started. All right. We're gonna pick some good ones today. I'm feeling lucky. Let's hope so. <laughs> All right, this is that. This is the prompt spark section. We'll turn the page. Is already at that one? Okay, that was not lucky so far. I got the beginning of the chapter. Yeah, we're looking for ones we haven't done. So I haven't dated. Hold on, I just passed one. Okay, dash. Okay, I I can do this one. Dash. Create dashes over three different areas on your page. Use dashes to outline something either already in your spread or to create the illusion of the thing in your spread. All right, first one's a good one. All right, let's see. Should I go for color? Uh, yeah, that's the one that scares me. Oh, dash yeah. is 377. Oh, thanks, let me mark that down. Mm-hmm. Dash, I get, dash is like make dash is great. Yeah, okay. everyone likes Let me dash. Try. 
color. Okay, we did earth tones. All right. <laughs> Dusty blue we've done. We've done linen. We've done mauve. We've done silver. Oh, my God. Oh, periwinkle. Oh, that I was my favorite crayon. I know. Yeah. I, can I'm you check, page. Colleen? It's on page 55. I feel like we did that one. I do too, but it, yes. okay, we did. Three, seven. Okay. I'll try again. Like cornflower blue, which is on page 49. Okay, let me look. I feel like we did that, but it may have been last year. You did something similar to cornflower. Yeah. If not, okay, we didn't do it this year, but we may have last year. Yeah. That's true. There's some... Um, Dupes and some similarities. All right, corn flower blue. All right. I ship it 24 because we're into the next year because we started this in 23. All right, we need another good one. Okay, that one we've done. You know, flip till we get the one we haven't done since. The all, the all the things we've accomplished. All right. Wow. I know. Look at that. We're kicking the tootie. Okay. Did you do stamps on 155? Uh, no. All right. Stamps. That's another good one. Yeah. yeah I can. I can deal with these. Okay, use old stamps from letters or other mail. Make your own stamps and uh, illustrations of your state bird. Collage a bunch of different types of stamps on one page. So, oh, good, all good yeah. ideas. All right, they are. Okay, now I wouldn't have thought, you know, to use oh, physical stamps, but yeah. Oh, my mind went to just regular stamping. That's what I was thinking of, too. I thought that would be one of the options. But you could do that. I mean, if that's what you think of, that's what you can do. Yeah. Um, all right. This the pressure's 150, on. 155. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. You do the last one. Make it a good one. Okay. <laughs> Don't blow it. <laughs> Don't blow it. I'm trying. <laughs> Don't blow it. Okay, so here, oh, here. I'll put it as the same. So we're got to do that. All right, here it is. I think it's okay. Lines from books. Oh, Hand letter no. a line or move from a book or more from a book you love. Collage lines from a book onto your spread. Illustrate a line from a book without using any words. Does that mean like cut the words out of a book? Yeah, you can collage lines from a book into your spread. So cut words out of it, like lines, like sentences. Or take a sentence from your favorite book and write it out. Um, take a line from a book that you like, like, um, you know, roses are red, violets are blue. So then you would do red roses and blue violets. Right? So um, there's can lots of right options. Can, can I, um, on December 12th for card 49, you did cornflower blue. Oh, okay. I yeah. thought it sounded familiar. Oh, yeah. we did do that one? Yes. Okay, let's we'll pick another color. Okay, here. we'll pick another color. Okay, so lines. Neither one of us had that marked? No. I know, usually one of us does. Thanks, yeah. Helen. All right, we got to redo our color. Okay. Do you want to do it, Colleen? You want me to? All right. Did you pick it? I'll let you. Okay. Uh, we've done white. Your first favorite color, baby pink. Carrot. Yeah. Lilac. Hello. Gray. Gray. Sophia said no. <laughs> because we didn't um, already did that one. Shoot. Red. Saffron. You okay. did it when you did, you did charcoal. Shine, magnify, and cornflower blue for card number 49. Wow, so. that was a tough one to sound like. Mm -hmm. All right, yellow. yellow. What page is that? Uh, 35. 
please. Yep, we yep, did we that. Did on that was January on January twenty three. All right. Neon is the next page. No, we have not okay. done that one. We unless Helen <laughs> finds it. <laughs> Okay, so neon that no. that opens it up to lots of colors. All right, neon instead of cornflower blue. Hopefully, someone hasn't started working on theirs. <laughs> <laughs> the speedy people aren't there in the out. Yeah, neon's not too bad. Okay, you try to work on this. So All righty, we can move on to doing some swatching. Okay. I need to get my um over Lindy's. All right. I need Dr. Pepper first. And then after we do our swatching, we're going to, I'm going to do this. And if you want to sketch out your girl, feel free to do that. I just looked at the picture and sketched mine out. There's mine. And I just made her fit um, you know, into the space I have. I think she had her um obviously a bigger piece more elongated so depending on what piece you're working on hi everybody who's come in if you in the page and what we're working with oh, if, take this on, if you have the book we'll play along um it is on page 55 is what we're doing and this is where it is. Here's the girl learning to soar. And it's on page 55. If you have the book and you want to play along and look at your book. Oh, Kimberly's going to play along. She just found a palette. Ooh. Ooh, boy, you got everything in your stash. She, one day she found, she found socks that she needed, made a, made a stuff land. Well, like you have socks in your art room. And you have a palette. Cool beans. All right. There we go. I thought, and then um, I thought I'd just put this, um, hey, you know, put like a little, um, you know, picture bracket. You know, they have really tiny, the little tiny nails. They shouldn't, you know, put on the back and hang it up on the wall. And I also pulled out... Um, Collage papers if it's uh, to put down as your base coat. Okay. And it's country store. You got, oh, how neat is that? I love that. I even pulled out maybe, I don't know, depends how she's looking. This would co coincide too with the blue. But that's a maybe. I pulled out other options too. But if I use that, I don't know if I could put wax on it. So I don't know. All right. So to stay with our, our linear theme, I have a business envelope that has lines on it. Oh, tricky. I know. I like it. Thank you, Dar, for posting that. I try to remember to post, I don't post everything I use, but like at least the, the main things I post. Oh, and just FYI for people looking for the book, um, it is on Amazon. The Taking Flight is not on Thrift Books, but the Susie Blue book is on Thrift Books. So just FYI. I think I'll use, and I put this off to the side over maybe there so you can still see it. I'll work down here. I might use some lines from this the book I pulled some papers out of. Oh, that's funny. I thought about kids' books would be good for the lines. Yeah, because I was like, because these are, you know, bigger too. Now, mm -hmm. if I can make it sense with it, that's going to be another thing. Okay, a neon, neon, neon. I think I 
seen a white boy kneeling on the paint, I think. We find her paints. Yes. All right. So I can use, I have orange. Oh, Woo wee. Cool. And pink. What are the others? Green. I think there's another. And there you go. There you go. Those are neon. All right. Okay. So I got that. Stamps. Lines from books. Dashes is easy. Now let me grab, I'm going to use some stamps. Oh, if I'm going to use Dina Wakely's paint, I may as well use one of her stamps. And Tammy, Tammy got the forest book. Yeah, so oh, add nice. Tammy to my to our list. Yes. And then if you have a chance to, to get the girl's name on my first video, Forrest video, um, she commented and write her name down. Oh okay. just so I mean, you know, because she counts. So just kind of fun to see how many people. How many people get into this and collage in the forest book with Dee Dee and play along? And us, of course. So I'm a copycat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to go with something like this. Maybe. And maybe maybe this face so i'm going to cover okay eileen i could have an orange girl a pink girl a neon pink or a green girl what's your what's your pick green no neon blue <laughs> oh well that, oh there might have been let's see is there neon blue Maybe there was caution on blue. It had to be. That bitch did. I don't see it in my box. It's like put it somewhere else. Huh. I do have this one, which definitely is looks it's pretty bright. Is dilutions that one's pretty bright? All right, green. Hi, Dee Dee. Morning, Dee Dee, and everyone else who's popped in. Good morning, Dee Dee. I just took my yucky vitamins. <laughs> Dee Dee says, oh. yay, for, yay for forest book. <laughs> right. Yeah, we got. He and more people playing along. Some uh, people who watch the recordings, the new girl watches recordings, and then a, uh, and then Tammy just got hers. I, I think a lot of people are. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay getting their books. I guess it's taken a while. I mean, that's mostly what everyone who's getting it saying. How long that it, it's they finally got their book? Like Terry, a few others are having. But it's worth the wait, right? Because there's such a big demand. Yeah. <laughs> Dee just made that book popular. Including you and Dee Dee, there's 12. And the, the one that you that commented was um, Charmaine Wagner. Charmaine. So we, How yep. do you remember? Okay, so Charmaine's playing along. She yep. said she was brand new to this and didn't know what she was doing, but was very excited, to, I guess, to try it and play along. So we have 12, including Tammy and Charmaine, too, and Dee Dee. Yep. Cool. How awesome is that? Oh, yeah, his books are great, Dee Dee. 
And I would say too, like it's just it's fun. Um, it's fun to play along with your uh, with your friends too. Just join in and do something together. Even you know, it's 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 not in person together, but this is like just fun. And oh, I like, and I love all the ideas we get from everybody. Yeah, and the different ones like. Uh, uh, Jill's been cranking out some nice ones, and I like that everyone has her own style. Sherry has her own style. Yeah, speaking of Sherry, where is Sherry? She said hi She's earlier. Here. She might she be is. still trying to wake up. Okay. She was she was happy with the prompts today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sherry's doing great with the Disney theme in her book. I like it. Everyone's doing their thing. Yeah, Dee, Dee Jill did some, and she had some castles and stuff in the pathways and that. Oh, so good. I can't remember some of the others, but they're in our Facebook group. But can you pull up some of Jill's while we do this, if you wouldn't mind? And I'll, I'll have to put it up there, but. I can put it up, Kelly. Um, I can bring up. Actually, you want me to just bring up the photos that have been posted? Oh, like yeah, do that. Yeah. Like the forest book ones, and we'll just be like while we're working on this, we could do like a quick, quick, a quick show of the some of the Facebook stuff because Nadidi's not on our Facebook, so she can see. Yeah, the there castle you know. one. Yeah, yeah, like it's yeah, going so good. It's it's down there, Kathy. Oh, thanks. Uh, there we go. Oh, the props didn't suck. <laughs> Yeah. This is it's a this good is day. Marlowe's. This is one of Sharon Marlowe's. Isn't that beautiful? Here, I'll put it. Thank you, Dar, for Oops. posting the link. Oh, that's so pretty. There we go. Sharon's there already is. done. Wait a minute. Nope. This oh, no, is, this was one from before. before. Oh, this yes. is doing Sharon Marlowe. She's been posting a ton of her mixed media pages. That's Love beautiful. all them. She is cranking them out. There's Tammy's forest book that she got. Yay, Tammy. And these are Julie Parker's um, prints, gel print, gel press prints that she's been doing. Oh, there's oh, working along. Oh, I love the jeans. Oh, I do too. That is so cool. That's a cool thing about Facebook group. The link is down below. Is it? It's a place for people to share their ideas and art. And Julie, jelly printed jeans, people. Jeans. <laughs> jelly printed jeans. I am all about denim. I was like, what? Yeah. And so I had a did. I'm like, you got to tell us how you did it. <laughs> That's so cool. And these are more of Julie's. And this is this is one of Jill's. There's one of Jill's. Yeah. Oh, I love that on top of the tree page. Look at that. And I like how she has butterfly wings coming out her like ponytails. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there with his umbrella. Just to hang out. <laughs> it splashing in the <laughs> splashing over fishing. there. He needs a little fishing pole. <laughs> oh, a fishing pole, because he has his hand out, too. <laughs> Colleen yeah. has a fishing pole. <laughs> Another one of Jill's. Beautiful. I, I look at that. I wish she's getting, I love that image, too. These images are so pretty. This one was good, too. I don't oh, know where, where she, what Im, where did she I get those know. images? They're beautiful. I don't know if this was from the fairy book, the 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 uh, collage. Dude. Oh, cute. Lord help me! Oh, Isn't I love it? that. Why oh, the um. Well, it's, uh, it's the different collage me. books we've been collecting. The new ones. Yes, thank you. My brain. Yes, the it new ones. Too. It just fits she right in. She's making a fairy one. And she oh, was taking them out. Look at the cats on the snow page. Okay, they could either be from Collage Soup or what's the other one? Poor Toast. Ooh. And that overheat. Oh, I like that. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. I love that, too. Yeah. She said she's having so much fun. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> 
I'm having fun seeing what everyone's look at them running in the fire them in the fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. In the way their ears, their are, ears glowing, are glowing, it looks like it's reflecting the fire. <laughs> and their ears are glowing from the fire. That oh. even like that alone, I was just like, oh my God, like the ears are glowing. Oh, Here's Colleen's funny. from, Here's from Thursdays. <laughs> I liked everybody's comments. <laughs> oh, look at this one. About everybody yeah. singing. Yeah, uh, it turned the, out so good, Colleen. Uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta have him singing because now now Janice has put that in my head. I I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> oh lay he ho i don't know we're gonna have that that we're gonna have that pig singing something that one was uh was fun adding those bricks and stuff finished it these i i consider not finished you know they're all a work in progress right this okay, is shelly 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 allred's scavenger hunt Using prompt oh. neurographic. Yeah, dogs. and people have been posting Janet's uh Janet's uh scavenger hunt pictures in yeah. the group. This is Danielle's. This is Danielle. Danielle did that while we did the forest book, she said. So she was oh. colliding along doing her thing and then and collaged with us. Kimberly did a uh collage with us in the forest book and she did it um on a separate page, and that's in Twitter. And that was, this is Jasper's. I did that I smear. think that's a uh, page Ooh. that she did, maybe did on her jelly, or using jelly prints. Pretty. Oh, is that some of her oh. paper? Snow and in Fort Lauderdale. I've got to melting my windows. About Fort Lauderdale getting snow the last time. Ooh, that's so weird. Okay, I'm having issue. Well, one, I melted my envelope. But the um, neon pink is not the neon paints. They are a little bit smelly. You know uh -huh. what I mean? I think it's the nature of them. Yeah. And it doesn't want, and the ink is smearing. Oh, so weird. I, yeah, now I think so. I'm going to do is I'm going to use some stays on. And on it because I guess the consistent whatever whatever neon paints are made of is definitely different than a regular acrylic. That was so weird. I mean, interrupt. I'm Were sorry. They, did just, you use Dina? Is it Dina's? Maybe it's hers. You know how hers are so plastic. Yeah, and then like the neons are like what hurt the neons, you know what I mean? They have an odor to them, you know what I mean? They smell, they don't smell like a typical um acrylic paint, you know what I mean? Right. And and like when I stamped on it, it it didn't um it didn't stay. And I was using this one. So I'm gonna try using um it stays on. I was unexpected. So there's something about the paint, uh, whatever is in it, it's repelling the ink. Like it doesn't want to, I dried it and it's still smeared. Oh, that's weird. Hey, Flo. That was so strange. Okay, see, even a seasoned artist gets taken by surprise, right? You're like, huh, that didn't work. Well, I would say I don't use, I do not use, I don't use neon paint very often. So, but still, I was not expecting that result. All right. So, my stays on is as juicy as the other ink pad, but. Mm -hmm. that stuck to it I, I mean it's like okay that's gonna stick that stayed 
All right. Let me clean off my... Let me clean off my ink pad. I found a cool book on gnomes, and you will post it in the group. <laughs> okay. Oh, fine. Right. You found that. Well, your, well, your uh, supplies repel you. I'm like, <laughs> like, what the heck just happened? I did not see that coming. They what did I do to the uh, neon e? Right. <laughs> it would be nice if the new color. Jim's color came out in archival ink. Yeah, I, that would be nice too. I mean, because you, you need you need both. You know what I mean? I wonder why he doesn't make his new his new uh, inks in archival. The at least the new ones that he has been coming out with. I wonder why he does not do that. I don't know. No idea. So, you know, I, I think about that would actually be a really good selling point. I mean, he can sell them separate later, but um, unless Ranger just doesn't allow it, yeah, it's out of his, his control. I still can't believe that he started this 20 years ago. And I look at my walnut ink pad and think that damn thing's 20 years old. <laughs> this is uh, Dina Wake. I'm using Dina Wakely. It's called Tubular. It's her. Um, she came out with a set of uh, sprays with uh, drip caps instead of spray bottle caps and paint. This is like about a, a year ago, something like that. Yeah, so just know. about a year, I think. You know, Wakely's fluorescence. Let's see. Hmm. Andrea said, Flo says the felt pads really last. Yeah, they do if you don't um, do this. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, you could get refills for them. Did you get your tiny pads, Colleen? So oh, the tiny dauber things, I did. I'm I'm waiting for the handle to arrive. <laughs> oh, those are so not what I was expecting. They're they so that tiny. tiny. Yeah, I I mean, and they said you know many. They meant many. I mean, yeah, I was taken. I was taken off guard by that. I got this. I was like, oh my god, they're so tiny. Okay, so I did the neon uh, stamping. I need to do dashes and lines from books. Okay. What are the name? What are the, excuse me? What are the names of the colors for the Gina Wakely paints? Is like the pink called stoked? Stoked. Okay. Gnarly, radical, and tubular. Okay. Would bodacious be the purple? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bodacious. Okay. All right. I found those three. Okay. But there's not a blue. There's a, okay. There was a purple. Okay. okay. There you go. Purple. Bodacious. All right. No, that's funny. I'd love to know where they come up with paint names. <laughs> Very carefully, she pushed it out. 
Oh, how about this one? She held her breath. Yes, Andrea, those color names don't even begin to tell you what color is in the bottle. They they really don't. They really don't. All right. She held her breath. Oh, man. What happened? Okay. okay, so this is the first. I must have used this once in the lid, and it got dry. So I stuck a pin through it, and it wouldn't um, oh. It wouldn't come out. So I squeezed it really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Can't see. That time. <laughs> Let me find a uh, journal to put this in. <laughs> Anyone need some purple? Okay, I'll do this. She held her breath and she stood still. Now I know why they're it's called puke purple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, at least it didn't get on your clothes. Okay. At least, at least it just uh. You can smear that onto some other papers for some to use yeah, on something else. Except right. little foam buddies soak up a ton of paint. <laughs> there. She held her breath and stood still. That's what Kathy did when the purple squirted. <laughs> <laughs> she held her breath and she stood still. <laughs> All right, dots and dashes. How easy is that? Hi, Tammy. Congr congrats on getting your forest book. Dashes. I, we've added you to the list, Tammy. We're just no for pressure. Fun, just no pressure. Track. Yeah, we're just keeping track. Yeah, work out on your own pace, obviously. But when you do make some art in it, please post it in a group to inspire others. What are you using, Colleen, to make the Ooh. dashes? Um, I'm using the Micron 8. Oh, man. Anne's forest book is going to arrive on Thursday. Nice. Yay. Oh, yay. It's taking a while, aren't they? Isn't that weird? I'll be 13. They're pokey. They're the pokey delivered. I guess they just can't make the forest book quick enough. Wow. Yeah. Let's see. Let me grab some. I give her some pink lips at least, maybe some pink cheeks. Let's see. It's gonna show up. Probably this purple. Since we're in the neons. I give her some fun hair. All right, green. Just want to hear. Crazy hair. Crazy girl. All right. All right. Isn't it Jamie that had purple for a while? JP Jamie had purple. I think so. All 
right. She's beautiful. She's bodacious. <laughs> She's bodacious. <laughs> She's bodacious. Oh, that's funny. I wonder if this will go over the waxed. Oop, maybe not. I was afraid of that. Hold on. The book warehouse people are probably cursing at the forest buyers. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what is happening? And the author is like, woohoo. Oh, I need to turn off my overhead lights. Now oh, she has hair like yours did yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Get crazy beautiful for portrait. Hair. <laughs> Crazy purple hair. Let's see. I think she needs a. Uh, I think she might need a headband. So she's a little more groovy. All right. Let's see. Hopefully this will work. Where did I lay my pen? Dash it. Dash, 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 dash. It's Morris <laughs> code. Oh. Cat <laughs> Cat says the book warehouse people are probably cursing all of you forest bu book buyers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a heavy book. I mean, it's got a lot of pages. It does have a lot of pages for how thick it is. You know, because it, it's not real thick. Yeah. It does. All right. Sherry's finished her card. All right. Down there, Kathy, for you. Okay, thanks. Oops. Ooh, that is fluorescent. <laughs> I like it. Wow. Nice. That is, and look, she made it look like he's running with the little, I like it. It's got the whoosh. I like Very it. Nice. That's good, Sherry. What does it say? It says, I'm going for a walk, not a hustle. Jostle. Jostle. Look at his face. Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to mute while I dry this. All right. I'm done. All she needs her roller skates. She be set. She's got her cool color hair. She's got her flowers. Yes, Kat. He's dashing for the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, this is fun. A nice thing about these prompts is they get you, they get, uh, I'd like, if we went straight into the forest book on uh, last week. I was kind of like not in my groove yet. Again, it took me a while to get in my groove. So I feel like the nice thing about the, the prompts, um, doing these prompts and just quickly, you know, doing whatever, it just kind of gets you creative juices flowing right off the bat before you start into your other your other stuff at least for me it does okay 
dash neon lamps lines from book. <laughs> Sophia's, Sophia's having a very successful attempt at the prompts. She wants us to know that she glued her palette knife to her paint cloth. <laughs> wow, that is marvelous. <laughs> Pigment is not paint proof when it's dry. Oh, that's funny. All right, so I have to this side my crazy little envelope here. That's just fun. Okay. So I'm gonna while Kathy's finishing up. I'm gonna, done. Okay. I'm done. done. Here it is. Let's see. Oh, she had lined scrapbook paper. How cool is that? Got my dashes, my lines of words yeah. from a book, and yeah. neon colors on a rainbow stamp. Oh, nice. Love it. Fantastic. Kimberly's is done too. Oh, thank you. Um, All right, there's some blue. So we already did open. This one is the Cafe Tangerine. There's Kimberly's, Kathy. Okay. Let's see these two. Where's my spray bottle? Let me put her as big for a sec. Oh, I love the neons. Nice, Kimberly. It says, it is one of my favorite things we do together, art. Aww. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, I love that. I think that is so cute. Use a stamp. You cut out the word art from a book. I love the image. She's so fun. She's got the neon. Neon shirt. That's awesome. I love it. Hi, Christine. Hey, Our Christine, I should say. Hi, Christine. I'm gonna sprinkle this down wet. This one is the rolling in the hay. That's a pretty yellow, Colleen. That is a pretty yellow. Let's see. That looks like it has a drip on my thing. Hold on. I just do it. These are permits. So I don't want them on there. Okay. Do the other. I'm going to wet it first. They're really nice colors. And then let's try the green. This one is here's looking out. Out to Olive. <laughs> I know I'm going to love that one. Pretty. I love green. You know, look at the colors. Green. Oh, there's blue in there. Yeah, blue. Some pink. Just pretty. Okay. And what's the last one? Bring down the house brown. Let's see this one. Oh, that's almost got some purples in it. Oh, it does. Look at that. Look at that. It's actually like. It has some reds almost. It's got reds, like a, a magenta. I see magenta. A blue. That's gosh, pretty. Yeah. Gosh, it looks like a, uh, almost a flower. If I actually had a stem. Yeah, it like could be a lily. Right here would be like a lily. I love how that trickled. That trickled down. I and then the look leaves. at how the colors blended below it, Colleen. Oh, it's looking like a bird. Oh. I see a 
bird's belly, yeah. like an Oreo, and then it's like shoo, flying. Oh, I like that. Terry's po posted hers, and it's down there, Kathy. Uh oh, my bird's getting bigger. <laughs> that was looking like the size of a duck. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's its feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty, Terry. Very pretty. Jeez, nice. real stamps. Oh, I love that. Very nice. Very nice. And I like all the dashes all the way around. Oh, yeah. It can make like a stitching. Oh, that's cute. I love that, Terry. And I like you. You're for your line to you use an envelope as well, and then you use stamps. Very vintagey. I like it. And then you did your neon on the edge. That's awesome. What? No longer looks like a bird. But this still this is a cheap um, a cheap ninety pound watercolor paper. So this is that's why it's all like warping. Just FYI, if you don't want it to do that, use like 140 pound. This is a 90. I no love product. how those and colors I put, are. I put on a ton of water too. Less water too if you use this. Um, what were you saying? I like how the colors are like blending with each other. Like this one looks super cool. Yeah. Uh, and I like this one kind of just, I kind of lost the image. I'm just going to. But just how the different colors are staying separate is kind of cool, I think. Let me get this one dry. So yeah, I wasn't thinking about this as 90 pound uh, 90 pound cardstock when I doused it. Now I see, still see a bird. There's his yeah. eye, there's his beak, there's his wings. I got another bird. I'm happy. This might be a bunny. I was <laughs> just going to say that looks like a little bunny. And a frog, <laughs> and a frog next to him. <laughs> we had the whole forest. <laughs> Yeah, it's taking a long time to dry. Wow. It's just like sitting on the water. It's just sitting on top. It's not really soaking in super well. Let's see if I can like. I got, the 90 pound, I got the 90 pound paper because um, Tiffany from Potter School that she does like some of her stamping and like uh, stamping and all that on it because it's easier to cut out and then it's thin. It's easier to glue into other projects uh -huh. because it's thin versus like the 140 pound. So, all right, there's my bird. So that's cardstock? Uh, oh, no, watercolor. it's watercolor paper. Oh, watercolor. Okay. It's Michael's uh, 90 pound watercolor paper. And she also uses, um, I think it's Arches. I think I got some from Blix too that's 90 pounds. And she said that she prefers the thinner paper because it's easier to, when you cut this out and then you want to glue it on something, it's not so thick. I do love that bird. I love this flower. I love Very the colors. Nice. Gosh, that's pretty. Okay, let's try this one. And then we'll go on and we'll start working our book. So this almost looks like, you know, mixed with the yellow and now um, pulling out like a more of a cerulean blue to me. I forgot if I pick it up, it might dry quicker too. Yeah, and then uh, this pink, some the yellow, I think was in it, went through. Also, it would be good if while it was super wet, what I should have done is I should have used the um, 
this. Oh yeah, the swish and move the move the wet spots around and made some little lines. I think it's interesting, like the yellow and the blue. There's not a lot of different colors in it, and then the other three have a bunch of different colors in them. Yeah, you're right. The yellow and the blue don't have a lot in there. Oh, and that one, yeah, and this, yeah, like this was the brown. This one has the uh, like magentas and purples is the brown. It's pretty. Kind of looks like an iris, I guess. Uh huh. I think it does too. There's all kinds of things. I'm really bad about I'm I know Eileen thinks we're all cray cray, but I always see like I always I might look at these. I also see a dog if I had ears or had ears, eyes, a mouth. I want to see a dog in there, that would be his eye. Yeah. I know, Eileen. She's trying going, okay. But yeah, I'd always see um I always see shapes and everything. Oh, and we all do, but I'm like, I'm I'm just like can't not not see the shapes in there. <laughs> but try these with the um let's see, what was the with the water and then this okay, it's moving better if I use the try not to go always put too much on and you can play with them like that that this is just not for alcohol inks right Hi, Kim. That did not move very much on that spot. Okay. All right, we have... Hi, Kim. Watching as you're crafting. Cool beans. Thanks for being here and letting us know you're here. Okay, whose is that? Is that Anne's? Yes. Okay, I put a bands. Okay. That's nice. I can't read it, but I see the old the old stamps from the what are they call from the gas station. Oh, S S H S H green stamps. Yep. And then her <laughs> her words, and then I see her dots and dashes, stamp and words. Oh, Mel's Diner. <laughs> That's cute. Cute. Oh, the neon sign. Neon oh, sign. neon sign. Oh, well, now I get it. Neon sign. That's witty. That was <laughs> fun. That was witty. That went right over my head. Okay, I really like... Um, I really like one uh, making those little lines through the blue. It makes it a little more interesting, I think. All right, we put these away, and we'll start working on our main project, which I'm really excited about. But I had to show you guys since it was, I just got them. I just had to. I just had to. I can't stop myself <laughs> from sharing new things. All right, so I'm going to do is probably cut these out and just add to a card if you're wondering, like, okay, what do you do? What are you going to do with that? Yeah. Or do I, you even need to add it, Colleen? You could just use your hole punch and make it the card. Oh, I see you're going up higher. Yeah. I was is just it kinda... thick enough to use as a card on its own? Yeah. Um it might be. Let's see, let's just cut it out just for just to see the shape. I can add some stamps, I can add some pen work, make it into something. Oh, just for fun, just to give an example. 
Mac posted hers. Okay, Eileen. Thank you. Uh, look, now I see a bunny rabbit. Hold on. I don't know if it looks like a bunny's ear, but I'm winging it. There. <laughs> I like it. Okay. I like it. So right. if you have it in a Rolodex or index cards. You can have fun. Sophia said she uh, chose words to match the calm nature of the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Hers is down there, Kathy. I know. I was waiting for Colleen to finish. Oh, okay. So oh, that's fine. I'm just wiping glue off. I made it. I made a bunny rabbit. Okay. <laughs> This is easy. All right. Easy does it. She's oh, are you using the Dina Wakely book? Nice. Looks like it. Yeah. I like that. And then the stamps, the layering with the stamps. Easy does it. They're probably in there. Her, her hand carved stamps. Yeah. Very nice. Wow, the big whiskers. All right, let me do this instead. Yep, she said yes, she loves it. That does look oh, like a rabbit. That'll look cute sticking out the top. Yeah, I gotta do something else with them, but he needs a tail. He's a little work, but that you get the gist for just something quick and fast. So he's looking up at something. He needs a little, he needs a poofy tail and he work on his feet. But yeah, just have fun. Use your imagination. But it's all right. It's what we're, it's all about. What's all about? Do everyone, what's the song? That's what it's all about. All right. <laughs> I'm tired. All right. So there's were you that. up late last night, Colleen? I did not sleep at all last night. It was terrible. Oh, no. Why? I don't know. Just another hour. Probably slept maybe an hour. Tomorrow I will pay for it. Tomorrow I'll be... Tomorrow my butt will be dragging. You know how it is if you don't... If you miss out on your sleep... Like if you miss your sleep one day and then, you know, you're, you can manage to get through today. But it'd be like the next day. It, you know, I mean, it hit you like a ton of bricks. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. All right. So I, oh, I thought this last night. I was laying awake in bed. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to trace my girl. I drew. Okay, and I just chase her wings. Roughly. Okay, so I am doing that because what she normally does in her book is that she puts down, ooh, sorry, that was loud. She puts down her collage papers. It's not medium, but then she starts adding some color to them. And then she put your image on top. Well, I was trying to figure out if I could fit the image, you know, I mean, on the on my paint palette well. So I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to have trouble seeing. <laughs> I do. I was like, gosh, I had trouble seeing through that. Um, so 
I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to draw it at a time because I don't know if I can make this work on this little paint palette. And then I was able to. So what I'm going to do is do some paper piecing so I don't have to redraw her. So I traced her shirt roughly. So now I'm going to go over here. Really, we need a pencil. Where are my pencil? Okay, I'm going to trace her shirt now that I did out of here. I want the words. I think I should probably do. I'll cut it a little bigger than what I traced just to be safe. Okay. See how this works out. This is what I laid awake thinking about. <laughs> like I can't sleep. And Kimberly's asking, does she collage on regular paper or tissue paper? She collaged with, she used things with words. I'm going to hold this up. So she ended up using, she said to just sew your surface. If you're using the wood, which I didn't even read that, I just ended up doing it. And she used, uh, looks like postcards, letters, postcards, letters, um, you know, because you can see like the, there's like a, I need to turn on my autofocus. That would really help. Hold on. We have to turn it off because otherwise it would make you like, it would make you feel yucky because it would constantly be. Hold this up. There we go. There. Uh, so you can see she used postcards and letters. She was trying to get words. Okay. And then after she gets all those down, she mixes, uh, thins out white acrylic paint and some alcohol ink, mixes them together, which I've never done, I don't think, and then rollers those along the edges. And then after that, you're going to put some distress colors on the edges before. It. And then after that, you stitch the girl. So, yeah. So postcards, letters, things with words. That's what she used. So that's why I pulled out. So she didn't use tissue paper, but she did use um, translucent paint. So you can see the words through uh, you know, through it. So that's why yeah. I pulled out my golden. If you don't have goldens, you can dilute dilute your paint with water. Or if you you can also, if you have this acrylic glazing, will also thin out your color without diluting the color, like with the pigment. I can talk. Also, in the book, she used. Um, Okay. Her thing was using her own handwriting, stuff with her own, own handwriting on it. Yeah, oh. she did. She did do that, too. Thank you. I hope that helped, Kimberly. Yes, she it did. She said thank you. Okay. Let me take it off of autofocus so you don't get lucky. And I will zoom in a little bit, too. Okay, minimize where you at. Okay, when I had that other window open, I couldn't see. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm doing it this way. Now, if you draw your girl on top of what you collage, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Just I did it in the... Wrong order, but I did want to see if I could just make this work. I was not 100% convinced I could fit it on here. But I was very excited. 
when I thought when I realized I could. <laughs> I was very excited. I was like, yes. All right. Now I'll go back. I gotta remember this is cutting out the opposite way. All right, so I'm gonna cut this part out. And then on our arms and stuff, I'm gonna use paint. And I was worried about drawing her arms back in. I was mostly worried, I was mostly worried about her shirt, um, her skirt and her top. I'm going to make this work. Yeah, so I need this area here. If you want to make it easy on yourself. <laughs> Put this stuff down, then I'll flip it. Then do, then put your girl on there. I love how simple she is. Did this right. I hope I did this right. Otherwise, I'll be using the other side. Okay. Yep. So that's going to go here. And then I just put that in there. We have to let's see. Let's see. Anyway, or is it this way? Oh, it did. So did it wrong. Eek. Hold on. I can't get this backwards flipping thing once I trace it, like getting the, the side I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to do that because her arms are right here. What you doing, Kathy? I um, put my gesso on and then I'm getting the book up on my Kindle. I closed it. Okay, here we go. All right, so I put my gesso on. I'm going to kind of follow along. Step two. Oh, step one. Okay, create collage of personal notes. Okay, so I put my um, I put my gesso on. Now I'm going to put my personal notes on, which I'm going to use old letters that I bought at auction. And probably some ledgers. Yeah. All right, so that goes. I can make this work. Something. Something like that. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to give it a point. Okay, I'm going to glue that on. That has some handwriting on that piece, which I like. This is the hard part. Then I get to do the more fun part. I'm just going to put a little piece as her arm goes here. Her arm goes here. I just need a little piece here. I'll probably, I can't find any handwritten letters, but I'll probably use like pieces of writing from old uh, ledgers. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing. I just, I think I might have some, but I got to look for them. But I, I thought, well, the ledger, my concern was the um, old letters may not hold up as well as the ledger paper. Yeah. And that was my uh, main thought on this one. Okay. So what are you, are you using that medium for the? I'm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm using some matte medium. Oh, wait, I pulled this out. 
This is beautiful paper here. All right, here we go. All right, so. And I think what I might do, I don't know if I'm gonna draw. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna draw her on, but what I might do is use um, one of the art foamy stamps, like the girl stamps. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, I thought if that you don't want to draw, or you could, yeah, you could use the stamps. Just kind of make it my own. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave that a second until it seals, and I'll cut off the cut off some of the extra. Let me see if I can find any letters real quick for the rest of it. Let's see. Move things around at the time. Oh, and she uses some old stamps and stuff, too. Right. Find them in here. I'm not going to look any farther. This one in here. I'm going to throw. Yeah, I might do a couple of blues. Let's see. Oh, wait, I found them. What were you looking for? Yeah, just to pull out a couple old letters. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are more fragile for sure. I also thought it might be interesting too for the background is to add maybe some doilies too. Oh, that would be fun. That'd be kind of feminine and pretty. Okay. Let's see, I'm add that like maybe over here in this part. I think I'm just going to go with like different, a bunch of different. Um, just interesting old papers. They won't all even all have. That'll work. Them. But we're gonna add color on top too. So uh -huh. it, you know, so I'm you know more or less like she put all neutral papers down. I think that way you can add your your color. Yeah. We go over with uh, some green, and um, you also could add on here would be some texture paste. You know, when you once you get all your papers down, if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Just do a stencil. You could Colleen, also have, have you decided what you're going to put in your new corporate office? <laughs> uh, I I did buy painting for the wall uh, because to buy even remotely a canvas that big, it's cheaper just to buy a canvas and right. then you can always paint over it. And I did buy one giant piece to put on the one wall. I put some of my smaller pieces on the wall I did already with uh, Kelly Ray. And I like to make some of these and maybe a larger one. They have a larger one as well and make like a, just like behind my desk, like some, some of these paint towels nice. with art, like a grouping of them just for fun. That's a good they, idea. I can, man. And yeah, so I can have small, oh. How about some script stamps on tissue paper? Oh, oh there you go. Oh, that would work. Script stamps on tissue paper or do some script stamps on top of right on top um, of the collage the papers you've already put down. 
That's a good idea, and if you don't have that, or use your own handwriting. Or oh, and there's also script stencils. I know I have a couple different ones from uh, Stencil Girl for sure. All right. Make sure that sticks. All right. So I got that. I might add maybe a little smaller piece over here. It's going to be so cute. Okay, and now let me get a doily. That's what I was kind of thinking would be kind of cute. Let's see. And I could lay the doily... here just to break up the two and I may end up playing okay I'm gonna put down a few more neutrals because otherwise you don't see the wood through it and I'll put these over top it might break up some of the some of this hi Brooke like hey Brooke hi Brooke good morning Almost afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at the time. I'm like, wait a minute, it's almost afternoon here. We're working out of uh, Kelly Ray book today. I'll show you the book in a second. All right. Maybe I should put more in the back of this one. This one's like, this is gritty. It must have dirt on it. That's a little gritty. Okay. Let's see. Soon it will be evening where you are. Yep. It, <laughs> it all depends on where you live, right? <laughs> Brooke says, great looking collage. Oh, thank you for having fun. I think we are. Are we having fun? I'm having fun. Okay, just checking. <laughs> I don't have all my, I didn't get all my stuff out last night, so I'm kind of getting it out as I go. It's kind of how I, how I roll. Okay, so I need to fill in. This should need to be longer. I tore that too small. All right. Piecing in a few around some pieces around her wings. Piece over here. I want to get through this so we can move on to the the next things here. Okay, I'm gonna use some of this right here. Cool thing is you don't have to like protect you know worry about what you're getting the matte medium on 
because you're gonna have to map medium the whole thing. You know, what I mean, you're map medium the whole thing anyway, so you don't have right. to just like pile it on because uh, the whole thing is gonna be coated with it anyway. You know, sometimes you might not want to get on every surface or whatever. So in this case, just work on top of it. Okay. I want to think about her wings too, like what I want. What do I want to do for her wings? I want to do um, paint them in. If I want to use, oh, I got to think about this. So I'm gonna tear this. Down. Let's tear it down a little bit more. Can't wait to see everybody's. That's one of my favorite parts about coming on to YouTube and partying with everybody is seeing what everyone else is doing and how their how theirs turned out. I will have to draw her arms and wings back in. I think that I can handle. Is that the book that has the one girl with the butterfly on her? I think it's her only book. Yeah. Well, I didn't know whether it was that book or the other book. She's got another one? Yeah. No. The other one that you have. Oh, Susie Blue. Oh, Susie Blue. Oh, yeah, I've been reading through that one. Yeah, I love that one. I've been, you know. Which one has the butterfly on it? Uh, the, the Susie Blue. Yeah. That one's so pretty. That one has a CD, too. I have the <laughs> CD. I want to ask Tom if we have anything I can play it on. It has yeah, like a CD lesson. CD player. Huh? A CD player. CD or a DVD, DVD or whatever it is. Like I need to see if we have a a player because there is like a Susie a Susie Blue uh, lesson on a thing that came with it. And I don't know if I ever watched it or not. If I did, I don't remember it. But that doesn't mean I didn't watch it. <laughs> but. I like to watch it. I wonder how clear it will be or if it would be fuzzy. 2012 before like, you know, HD. Oop, off her arm. I wanted to maybe I'll use the blue paper. I might use maybe I could use the blue paper for her for her wings. I like that. That was like the blue ledger that we got from Patty Lang one time. But no, I was looking for that. It must be down deep in my drawer. That is so pretty paper. It is. And I don't know how I don't know if I've like how often I've really used it to be honest. Like I think we were hoarding it. I know, because it's so unique. This always takes longer than you think. Do you, you what? Know, I said this always takes longer than you think. Oh, like the put piecing these on yeah. here? Yeah, that's why I was hurrying through, like the prompt, trying to get the prompts done and uh, show the stuff because I knew this would be, we got an hour. So I knew this would be a little bit time consuming. So that's why I was trying to get everything done on schedule so we could get this done. So is Kathy Arbor, Arbor streaming? Did she, uh, I don't know. Her company on leave? Yes, she is streaming. Okay. 
Thanks, Alan. Poor Fiona. Okay, I've, I've, no, little, I've almost got my no shower yesterday. I feel bad for her. Oh, Miss Paint a lot. Yeah, I noticed she didn't stream. Is that why? Yes. Oh, she had no power. Oh, oh. <laughs> and she had to drive 20 miles away so that she could get a mobile on her a phone, I assume, so she could let everybody know what was going on. Oh, oh wow. She's so thoughtful. She wouldn't she didn't have to do that. She could have told yeah, everybody people later. People were asking if everything's okay and stuff oh. like that. You want to let them know. Oh, mm -hmm. gosh. That's really kind. I don't know if I'm that kind to drive 20 miles. <laughs> Oh, well, shoot. maybe getting in the car with the heat would be better than in the house with no, no power and you're freezing to death. Was it cold in Ireland? She's in uh, England. I thought she's in Ireland. Why do I think no. it was Ireland? Brooke wants to see you're as big, Kathy, when you get a minute. No, oh, I can put them so they're both. Let's see. Oh, and Anne said, do you have an Xbox? Would that for playing the, the DVD, Anne? Oh, no, he does not have one. Of those. He plays well, like, oh, he plays a, like, he uh, said it was a CD, not a DVD. I did. I think it's, I think it's, it's I don't know what it is. Is it CD or DVD? I don't know. Hey, your, does your son in law have an Xbox, maybe. an old Xbox, maybe? Yeah, maybe. He probably has a bunch of those. I don't know if he has any old ones. I think he's got one of whatever is popular. My other one, my other son-in-law, he does online games like Tom. Um, okay. I didn't get these on. I dumped some on the edges. Just wanting to peel off the edges. So I'm going to try to get those down. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Got to get these to steal on the edges. I did gesso the edges of this thing too, just to make sure. Ooh, my hands. Well, the matte medium is sticking my hands really good together. <laughs> I know. It's been, I haven't used matte medium in a while. I haven't I either. <laughs> you get that nice coating all over your hands. I'm just like, wow, I'm really sticky. Wish it would stick to the side of my palette right now. Okay, instead of me. I guess I, didn't get, I probably didn't get enough underneath, maybe, and that's why it's pulling up. Hey, Devin. Family issues to deal with. Well, welcome. Thanks for popping in. I hate when uh, life gets in the way of art. All right, I'm going to do one like more really thick, even over this. So when I paint, coating all over the whole thing real good. And I'm going to start drying mine. Yeah, it looks like Kathy Auber is doing sketch and paint ideas in 2024 oh, huh. Dragon. Uh oh, I'm down to two blue signatures out of four. Hopefully I have pieces of some other places. All right, this is where I'm at. Got everything covered with ledger, writing paper, and then you can see I covered up the, there's a, I fill in the girl. All right, I'm going to dry her now. 
I'm going to go get some of the glue off real quick. I'm going to do that first. Just take me a second. Yeah, Kathy, I would be hoarding that paper. Every little scrap, so pretty. I know. I like to use it just for a little pop of color. But then I have it. I think I know I have. I know I have most of a sheet in my bag that I take with me. And then these were two full ones. I may hopefully have, but I know I've used mine. I figure if you got it, use it. There. And it just. That's it, unusual. What? If you got it, use it. Oh. So anybody else playing along? I know I think Kimberly is. I mean, you could just take a piece of... Um, poster board or something and cut out a palette shape or any shape. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or do it. I'm doing mine in, cause I didn't have a palette. I'm going to, I'm doing mine on an art journal page. Oh, nice. So yeah. What book is it in Kathy that you're doing? I'm using um, one of the Dina, the Dina Wakely one, the blue one. And I oh. found a, um, one of the, middle of the signatures it has a uh, heavy watercolor paper on it so it should oh, hold yeah. up pretty good Eileen, do you know what Miss Paint-a-Lot's next project is after the January Ideas book is finished? No, unless she's going to work on the ATCs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she might. I know today she's doing yesterday and today, so. Oh, I like her ideas. They're simple. Yes. And easy to do. Yes. And she explains them real well. Let's see. She, when she did the hidden paper clip, somebody afterwards told her to use two paper clips instead of one. Yes, because her thing was so wide. Yep, I saw that. Yep, that was a good idea. Some of those hidden paperclip things people have done are so nice. Yes. Yep. Oh, Anne is doing hers. She's thinking of doing hers on an LP record. <gasps> oh, that'll yeah. be fun. Great idea. Gosh, you still have them, Ann? <laughs> That's a great idea. Or even, um, if not on the record, even the cover. Oh, yeah, the cover. would be good. Devin said, did you guys see the circle slash pie daily art journaling Zandra has started? She can't remember where she got the idea. She thinks it was Kelly something. Circle pie art daily art journaling. What is circle pie? I don't know. Is it P-I or P-I-E? P-I-E. Phew. Sorry, it takes so long. That was a lot of glue. I, <laughs> on your hands. <laughs> oh my God. I had like a whole nother layer. It was like having skin, like a whole layer of white skin. Uh -huh. Wow. 
All right. I've had, had my hands in matte medium for a long time. And I was just remember, I don't mind paint on my hands. I don't care for glue on my hands. Did anybody watch that video on the glue sticks? I did. Helen's going to watch it. I, uh, I let did. me tell you, I got some of the Tombow glue sticks. Are they good? Where did you get them on Amazon? Yeah. I'll write that down. I have some of those. I haven't used them yet. I got them for free when I bought some of my um, markers. They sent a couple. They, they really glue good down here. I would say I don't think I had luck with the combos here. I I tried mine. And, um, yeah, I don't think I had a lot of luck with the combos here. Huh. so wild how... Um, you know, I mean, just 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 Depending all the where you, are. where you live. Yeah. Anne bought some at a thrift store, but they don't have any covers. Are you talking oh. about glue glue sticks, Anne? No, her the albums. The oh. Album. Oh, okay. <laughs> and at first, I'm like, oh, why would you? I a glue stick would really work <laughs> without a cover. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah the the person that did the video eileen she kind of um really liked the ones that were purple yes she eliminated all all others that were not purple because she could see where she was putting down the glue i guess oh okay Sorry, y'all have to hear me gulping. I'm like taking advantage of my drying and drinking. <laughs> All right, this is super sticky. I right, paper, so I'm gonna flip it over, get another piece because sticking to the back. Uh, I want that to stick down, but yeah, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull this up. And I'm going to put this over so I can have like a non, not medium surface here. Okay, next. All right. Uh, I got that. Okay. I'm going to draw back in. Where's my pencil? I'm going to draw back in. I see the hair bun up here. Her arms were. Alright. Oh, next. Oh, I'm just going to like. Alright. Place dabs of raw sienna and tighten buff. Palette. Ooh, gave her a really big arm. Poor girl. Ooh. I want up my paper. She gave her a really big arm. She she works out. <laughs> All right. I need her arms back in. I can fix that. And then her wings were. Here. I like that. Okay, the arms are like this. And her shirt came down. Actually, came down like this. Okay, this is her outfit here. Okay. I'm going to glue in one teeny big. One teeny piece of paper over here. Very 
for it. Darn it. Back to the glue. Oh no, not the glue. I just gotta keep my hands out of it. All right, so over here on my palette, I'm going to let me scoot some stuff out of the way. Stuff everywhere. I'm going to get my pink palette. And brush is super wet. All right, press Sienna and Okay, so over here I'm going to do is put out some white titanium. Good. Okay, what is, I see step two, but what's step three? Okay, step three is you roll paint uh, with your brayer onto the collage. And... Uh, Okay. And then she said, wipe away areas to allow, if you get it too heavy, to allow the paint to show. Okay. And then she used um, added alcohol ink to that, do it. That was step that. four, right? Yeah. But I think I'm just going to, I think, if she doesn't really show what she used, I think I'm just going to go and do three or four and skip ahead to the. Oops, I'm gonna try. We'll see what color this makes. Where's my? I do have a brayer here. I'm gonna try this a lettuce. I think that's what she used. She didn't say, but I'm just based oh, on. It was lettuce. Um, it was the lettuce alcoholic. Okay, so that's what it looked like to me. And I had a, a color called um, I had a color called willow that looked that looked pretty close. I saw it in the list. Oh, you did? Oh, see, I didn't look at that. I just looked at the bottle. I'm like, I think that's lettuce. Because that would make sense. I mean, I know lettuce is um, lettuce is an older color. Yeah. So. All right, let me get a brayer. Not putting enough. I either got too much paint or something. I need more green. All right. Let's throw this on. Then I'll so wipe back the, some of it. Mix with the alcohol ink, Colleen. Uh, the uh, fluid uh, acrylic by Golden. Okay. So this is tight. This is a uh, titanium. Now I do, like she said, go back in and push back back some of the paint so you don't cover up all your writing. And I'm using the nickel azo gold and white. I didn't have the titanium or the other one. It's looking pretty good. I want the um shirt. Trying to keep it off her shirt. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. so we have this screen you can see. Okay, that's better. No, if I couldn't see it. Okay, there we go. So you can, I've got now the paper and I mix that white paint with that green. All right, rolling randomly. And I just do a little white ring on its. Okay. 
And new key places too. Okay. Let's see. Let me find, hopefully I have that. Let's Bit. All right, push back a little bit. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. I have an old Adirondack uh, citrus. Wow, that is old. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll, we'll go with that. All right, so I'm going to dry this. All right. All right, what? <laughs> We mm -hmm. have one more color. I'm not debating about that. But I am going to do just put this on my fingers so I can control a little more where it's gone. But she has them like, it's like she has them over where her paper is overlapping. <laughs> I guess to kind of hide the hide that a little bit more. Okay, so next is to take your ink to get this dry. It's filling up again. Ugh. Ugg yug. Where's my glue stick? I think I see a glue stick it down. Uh, have you tried have you done the alcohol ink yet, Kelly? I did. I mixed it. I did the ink. I mixed it with the paint. It dries. Is it coming off? Coming off when I well, write the it, back. You, can you see it? Yeah, I mean it looks like a mint green um oh, okay. background. I was just wondering, mine's drying real quick. Okay, so now we're going to take our walnut ink and we're going to go around the edges of our canvas or substrate, whatever you're working on, and we're going to ink the edges and some of the I guess crease you know where we put the where the papers come together. Okay. Now she okay. used her finger, but we now have tools. <laughs> brushes. We can use the brushes the Oops, 50 million foamy things they bought. All right, secret in the other room. Secret and stress pad. Okay, did you do your um your ink pads yet? Oh, they didn't hear. Never mind. That was in the other room. Okay, okay Colleen. I think that's what she's doing now. Right. I'm going to ink the edges. Oh, you're doing the ink pads now? Yeah, I'm doing the ink pad now. Okay. 
Okay, so on step five, it says rub the antique linen distress ink pad directly on the entire surface to per to further give it an aged look. Yes, I guess you uh, have to need to do that for the walnut. Getting ahead of myself. Thank you. If mine's still, mine's gonna blend right in, honestly, with the green. I don't even know if that's showing up. But the walnut ink is showing up. That looks good. That's gonna give that's gonna give it some depth. Okay, I have to go get those. looking like an old worn palette Colleen thanks yeah that ink really um, that really helps I think it helps turn it down I'm trying to her edges are really dark I can't of course my ink pads could be on the older side too I don't know I'm just gonna do if you don't want to mess up your pad you might not want to do this no so Sophia I can loves, get Sophia loves how they're both looking. Yeah, because I can get some ink on here and heavier if I do that. And Tammy's back. She wants to know what did <laughs> what enabling did you there was no enabling today, Tammy. Sorry. Yes, there was flat magicals. And oh yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, flat magicals. I got the, I got the, um, I got the Vinny flat magicals. There's three new sets, and I got the Vinny set. And then, uh, if you don't have this book, that's down below. And if you're looking for a wood paint palette that link is also down below so we're enabling an older book a paint palette and some flat magicals oh yes sophia sophia said an extra fine steel wool if you want to do mary beth shaw's rusting paper technique Oh, yeah. Check out the, so the rusting technique with stencils she told us about. And I think I have steel wool pads, too. Because we use those on our oven. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay. That's looking cool. The next what I got to do, next what you would do is draw your girl on here. So that is next. So I've already drawn mine, but what I'm going to do is go in and with some paint and paint her in, fill her in, I should say, with that same titanium paint, Goldens. Let's get this down. Here's her face. Here's her neck. Thank you, Kat, for the magicals link. Thanks, Kat. Okay. And her arms down here. I'm gonna make them. I'm not gonna make hands. Obviously, I'm just gonna do the. 
oops, that's too muscular. She had hers. If you look at her drawing here, here's her drawing. I'm gonna set this here. She got who maybe is new or just came in. Ooh, I'm gonna put this down right. Don't leave a book in the paint. See, see. And then um, we'll be going around it with a Stabilio all. And um, when we defined her her arms a little bit. Kimberly's girl has no eyes right now. She said Dot would not like her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll hold up the I'll hold up the book, Kimberly, so you can look at her eyes. Kathy, what are you using? Okay, I needed to push back um, to soften it up, and um, I didn't want to use I used antique linen and I used pumice stone. I didn't want to use my white ink pad, so I just took my white um, foldens and mixed it in with the green and the other colors I was working with. And I'm just kind of using just a foam jobber to go over and kind of push everything back and soften it up. You see how Colleen says like that soft? The that is soft working look? great. That works great. A foam dauber? Yeah. And just brushing it in with it has most it has more white, but it, it has a little bit of the covers colors I used in the background, yeah, and that just kind of pushed it back enough. Because that's you use the foam thing, right, Colleen? When you used I used pads. the foam thing, and I also just took my I also just took my ink pad and just you know went around the edges. Yeah, which I'll probably do when I finish because it, it probably is going to come off a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Kimberly says, thank you, Colleen. I have a beautiful Kelly Ray Roberts book gifted to me by Dar. <gasps> oh, you have this book? She, she says, will. She, she will. Says, I oh. Kimberly is going to be gifted it from Dar. Yeah. Well, that's so sweet, Dar. I, she Aww. says she treasures it. It is called Hope and Healing. Oh, she it's a different book. Oh, Got different it. One. I'm following. Oh. Hope and, and Healing. Hope and Healing. Oh, nice. Healing. Thanks, Aww. guys. Thanks, Devin. Hope and Healing. Hope and Healing. Yeah, I wanted you to because you're talking about the eyes, so yeah, wanted y'all to see her her eyes. Okay, now let me try that a second. I'm gonna do her hair next. My favorite part. And any person is doing her hair. Ugh, the hair. The hair is my favorite part when it comes to stuff like this. It just like just makes it complete. So mm -hmm. I do have fun with the hair. Now we'll have to darken her skin tone. This next. All right, and I'm using Burnt Umber Light Golden Fluid Acrylic. You can use what you have, just dilute. I'd say, like, I think the thing she did is just, she kept the, um, she kept all the paints translucent so you didn't lose the background.
And you can always go back in and add a little Bye, more. Bye, Mac. Have a good day. Guys. Bye, Bye, Mac. Sophia. Bye, Sophia. Thanks for the rusting tip on the video. Most of us here love that kind of stuff. So. Cute. She's got a bun. And hers is a little more of a browner brown in mine, it looks like. That's okay. I could be able to get it exact. And I'm going to do a, she has a heart, and I don't have the one stuff to do the heart. So that's going to go here in her hands. All right, so now I get some green. This is green gold. I'm going to go over her little skirt. Like she has in the book here. And again, it's translucent, so you can still see the ledger there. I missed what color that is, Colleen. Sorry. That's okay. Green gold. Uh, golden fluid acrylic green gold. Pretty. I it love is, that color. It's a, didn't they retire this one? Did they? It's one of my favorites. What, what one was it that they retired? We all like, oh, my God. Nicolas. Oh, oh, no, yeah. Canacrum gold. That was it. Thank and you. And cobalt comes and goes too. But I think you can get it again now. If I like this blue. <laughs> My thing flew. I'm just going to blend all this in. It's not blending like I had hoped. Okay, never mind. I hope you still be able to see. Playing with this um, background, getting it the shades just right, you know. Oh yeah, back yeah, you do like to play with backgrounds. Uh, let's see if I can. I'm gonna rub this back just a little. It's like a little too dark. Let me see if I can. I might be able to rub that back. It was there. There we go. Oh, I really like that girl. I may should I attempt drawing? You should attempt to draw her. She's pretty simple. Yeah. You could even skip the face if you wanted to. No, okay. I'll do the face. <laughs> okay. You could do you could do Eileen's favorite, the no face girl. She no, loves you. if I if I have a face to follow, I'm okay. It's when I'm inventing a face. <laughs> Okay, 
I was thrilled about sure is why I would have liked to have, but that's all right. Uh, all right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to shade her skin tone in because she's really ghostly right now. Okay. I'm going to mute and get something to drink. Okay. okay. Let's see how that. I was pretty light. Let's is use there any... Oh, there she is. is. Okay. Sponges. I you don't have to have the little thing yet. Thank you. All right. I took a screenshot because my screen keeps closing. So I'll <laughs> that up. All right. Just I'm waiting for the. Let's see what happens. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so pencil then Stabilo for the outline. Oh, that yeah. is wonderful, Colleen. <laughs> you like my improvise. <laughs> a little right. dauber on a big thing it worked. It loses its cuteness, but you know, it works. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's okay. do it. I want to have a little ink, not like can't have too dark of a face, and she won't have any. We're gonna have some dark and light. Let's see, this is challenging. I really like her. She's cute. Yeah. Okay. Her light's more over here. The cool thing is, this is water based. So it is, you got a little bit of forgiveness in terms of wiping on. But now I will do is seal it when I'm done with some. I probably seal it with some fixative. Then maybe. Um, Oh, then Maybe go over do, with the wax. Do some wax after that, because it it because it definitely stands a you know a chance of moving. Thank God for fixative. Because I think the because the wax could make it move. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I want some lightness in her face, and I can always use a permanent pen. I can always add more. All right, there you go. That's what you do before when you, if you don't <laughs> go <over yet. laughs> Shoot. I'll have to remember that when I get to that point. <laughs> I have the I have the dauber. You got the little ones, Kathy? Yeah, I did. I'll pull them. I'm going to pull them in a second. They had them. I got the dauber with two, two daubers with two replacements, but they didn't have the refills. Colleen got the refills, but not the daubers. That's funny. I'm curious to see if they feel good using them. Oh, here they are. All right. Mm, she has a really, maybe I should use, maybe she's black. Yeah, I need to move my eyebrow over. Okay, so here they are. Yes. All right, here comes the fussing time. I'm going to have to tilt it, guys, because I had to sit down a minute. It's my foot's, my foot's bothering me. Um, They fit nice in your hand, Eileen. Oh, really? Yeah, they're like, see here. I'll go. I'll go big for a sec. Hold on. Oh, I gotta... oh let's see. Okay. See how it's got that the shape here. And then you put this in. Yeah. And it just this way you can you can put pressure on the sponge from that little lip that comes out. 
so they'll be perfect like for doing you know for getting in like the faces and little corners and stuff right I think they'll be good for like really fine stencils hold on Okay. This is the hard part in the face. I need Does to get anybody it. use the new watercolor pencil. Oh, in the new color? Yeah. New. No, but you know what? That might be good. That would be good to use if you didn't want to use the Stabilo or if you wanted to use it. It would it would complement this nice. It nicely. would. Let me see. Oh. You're making her eyes wonky and too small. I may skip Don't her forget, eyes. Colleen. If you're right-handed, do the left eye first. You know, I'll take a break a second. Now I'm also I'm also debating on whether I want to have like something like some I don't know writing or something on the other side I haven't decided since I have a pretty big gap. Yeah, I was gonna ask. What does she have over there? Or her girl just feels she, like she has just pattern paper all the way over, you know, with a lot oh, of okay. like green and brown. So she really didn't put anything over there or words on it, but she normally she normally does put words on everything. I might find a quote or something and you know put it like maybe write it on white paper and then tear it. Colleen, can you move to the right a little bit? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So what I did here, I took the scorched timber and just put it at the edge of the individual piece. And I think I'm going to go through and do that all the way around just to kind of define those. Because I notice like she, she kind of defines the papers a little bit. Are you going to blend it out? Oh, I see what you're it. saying like this. Yeah, I'm blending it out with, um, with a water brush. Yeah, she did do that to kind of give it some um, interest some on, the, on the other side. Yeah, she depth. Was, yeah, like that where she was. Makes it look kind of like patchwork. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I mentioned that. Because that works. I felt like my background was kind of stark. It is. I was thinking the same thing about my own. Thank you for saying that. I like this. It's dark. There's no, um, I think what I like is there's no, there's no red in it or something. In the scorched timber, Kathy? Yeah. 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 I think what I might do. Okay. I think what I might do, I'm going to go over and get all these pieces That's a great and idea. then just use my finger and dip, keep dipping it in water to spread it out. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Colleen, what pencil are you using? I'm using Stabilio, but I'm using a brown one. No. Instead of black. Oh, that's nice. Just give it a little bit softer. Yeah, since, I mean, I was looking at it and I think you could she used black on the body too, but I don't know. I can't decide if I wanted black on here or not. Because I started put, with, with it and I wasn't sure I liked it. Kat put Kelly Ray Roberts' website up and she was Kelly Ray was a medical social worker before becoming an artist. 
That's, oh, wow. That's yeah. Fun. I was surprised how many, um, how much merchandise she has. Oh, I know. She does have quite a bit of merchandise. And the um, pillow, the pillow I found, I saw on Amazon. Yeah, like she's the company that makes her products is on Amazon, but they didn't have like the blanket. They had just a pillow and then the blanket was on her website, but it looked really thin and like, you know what I mean? Expensive uh -huh. price. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't plush or anything. So yeah. I was super tempted to get that. And then I was like, you know, it looks so thin. Yeah. That's probably but just decorative. It, just, um, it is just decorative. But yeah, and she has um, bags, canvas bags. Um, I think what else is on there? Hi, Janice. Hey, Janice. And hi to anybody else who's come in that we've missed. Hi, Janice. Oh. You don't want to use the little dauber. It just wipes the... The little daubers, brand new, Kimberly, just was released, like, with this Saturday. last release. Yeah, it's, like, brand new. It's, like, that's why you haven't seen it. Did he show it on Saturday? Or was yes, it just he after? Used, he used it. I like the way he was able to flip it under his fingers. He flipped it under I didn't watch all of it. I didn't see that. Oh, like this? Eileen? What? I, like I this? Yeah. Oh. And then he Oh, and then just it. rub. Oh, and then that would work. It back and use it. <laughs> that would be cool. I can't do it on this because there's too many little bits coming up, but that's a good. And no, I didn't buy it. <laughs> now, what I want to do is since I have this like bold blue shirt, I may want to like dab some. I may want to. They have some blue in here or use that blue to write or stamp with. So I was also looking at her finished piece where she's got, you know, the blue shirt and then she's got the little bits of blue and then there's the green and then she's got more of the green. So I may add in some more green and then a little bit of blue into this area. Oh, that'd be pretty. Yeah, too. And that makes sense because, you know, because otherwise, I mean, she does stand out with the neutral background, right? But, but at the same time, I'm like, where's my pencil? I think I want to pencil this and then go over it. I feel more confident with the pencil. Well, Ke Kelly, that was a goodbye. Kelly, listen to me. Kimberly, my Kelly. It's too big. A Kelly Ray? Wow. Wow, for two dollars, it is a good buy. Wow, okay. That is much, much better. And then I'll blend yeah. it out. I need to use like a really thin, really thin water brush. Yeah, that worked better. I think it's right. Turn it upside down. The, the eyes look a little more. They're still not great, but they look a little more the same, uh, the same size. 
Here's a nice thin one. Okay. All right. Yeah. You I don't like your nose. You look like a pig. <laughs> it's not <a> <laughs> She looks like she had a pig's nose. Colleen, were you watching Maddie Sale? Yeah, I was watching. Did you, you see when she pulled out that um, Rolodex punch? What happened? Uh, well, everybody me. said it looked like an elephant. That was yeah. so funny. They did? Well, That's... the way the way it's shaped, it looked like an elephant. It was huh. funny. That's something I never thought about. That's funny. Was it a, a die cut thing to cut out a Rolodex cut? Or was it a... No, it was the... It was a punch to punch the holes to make oh, the wow. Rolodex. Oh, wow. What was it that? an older one or a newer one, Eileen? I think it's new. Because there's a lot of people looking for those punches. Yeah, the Heidi, do you mean the Heidi Swap punch? I don't oh, know. I, it was, it was white. Heidi... I don't know whose brand it was. Okay. But the way she had it laid on the desk with the the lever that you push down the punch looked like this uh, the the uh, nose and then the sides looked like the ears. It was really funny. And where the punches <laughs> were looked like two eyes. Oh, that is funny. Was it something that she carries on her? website eileen i have no idea um if it did sometimes they're on there sometimes they're not depends if it's sold out or not did it sell out i don't know i just happened to see that i wasn't really okay. there i know it was white i can tell you that <laughs> it was a white elephant yeah all right where's my blue i'm gonna add just a smidge of blue in a couple of places and the punch was that you could make uh, let's say six inch wide card but the punch would punch the two holes for a regular Rolodex. Oh, nice. So it was like a two punch punch? A what? A two punch? Two hole punch? Yeah, well, like, you know how you punch for a Rolodex? Yeah. Yeah, it was like that, but you can make it, I think it went up to, that you could, put, the card you could put in to use it, I think it was like six inches. Oh, okay. I was, never mind. I was thinking of something else. I know those. And I don't know whether it was Heidi Swap or whose punch it was. Those punches are hard to come by. I like that. It needed the other. It needed the other colors worked in to make it to make it look better. And I might need just a smidge on the other side. Then that looks a little. It's 
So how is it just that? Yeah. Do that. I like these um, watercolors on here. They blend out nice. Yeah. Yeah, and if it um, if you blend it out too much, you can you can just keep playing with it till you get the way you want it. Yeah, once you get the right touch down. It looks really good from here, Kathy. Thank you. Yeah, it just needed it was too it was too flat before. I needed to do something before I put that girl on it. I kind of wanna. It's a smidge more blue. All right. There. Now I put some words on here. Then I'll go and fine tune her, uh, fine tune her face a little bit too. Oh, is she almost done, Kelly? That's great. Yeah, she's almost done. I think I need like a, I need to take with the water pen and fill in the face. But I got the face drawn. And all right. And I, I got the green and the blue, like kind of all around. Can you go big and then maybe Kathy go big? Here, I can oh. do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Now I'll go back in a little more. Uh, there we go. Thank you. A little more ink on the edges there. Yeah, so I think it's better now. I have the color kind of spread out. It looks good. It yeah, because it would. Yeah, you needed that like the grid. The grid made that grid helped, and then um, the pencil lines, um, spreading. You know, spreading the paint around a little bit, and then I'll fill in her face. And I think I want to stamp. Some stamp something on here. So I think I'm gonna put. Oh yeah, I was gonna put a heart. I still have. A, I have to do a heart at some point. I want to do a heart. I want to do. <laughs> yeah, Anne. Anne loves her expression. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. Looks like it's city background. Yeah, I think it's uh Yeah, so you're gonna wanna put yeah, so she's holding something. Let's just do this for now because I don't have the fun stuff. What does she use for the heart? She cut out like a piece of foam and then she um here I'll get it. Wrap that plaster cast stuff around it mm -hmm. and then painted it and, and glued it on. Oh, nice. It, the plaster. I know I've worked with it before. I just haven't. We've done some stuff with it in the past. <laughs> just haven't used that in a long time. All right. Anne says, and she's not wearing a bra. <laughs> <laughs> She don't need a bra. She got small boobies. <laughs> uh, she didn't need a bra. Lucky girl. All right. And what do you think? I'm going to stamp, I think... Rest and restore is my. Your mantra. Mantra. Thank you.
And she put a smidge, it's like it's a smidge, a smidge of white on that. Just a smidge of that white. It's like there's a little, like, so it's like less than perfect. It's just a little. Stop there. Okay. Let me get my stamp. And I might draw some. Oh, she did little swirlies on her cheeks. I forgot that. Hold on. She has little Ooh, let me sharpen my pencil. Cute little, cute little swirly on her cheek. Okay. Do I'm going to draw like a really light. As long as I don't go crooked. Just. And. Restore. Okay. I'm going to go with that kind of ink. I go over all that. I don't want it to be too bad. I think a dark brown would be better. Maybe a dark brown to kind of go with. For what? I wasn't looking. I'll go. Oh, that's kind of cool. I see. I mean, not that brown. Let me try and keep it brown. What about the um the new one? Oh, doy. Thank you. Doy, doy, doy. <laughs> I was going to turn it, but it doesn't have to be. Thank you. I don't know. Is that going to be too brown? I haven't stayed on timber. Let's see how this one looks. Let's see. I think I feel like this, like this goes with her hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it has a little bit of red. Yeah. Let me see this one. All right. Yeah, I think this uh I think this will match better. Kathy, did you ever get your typewriter fixed? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, I have to bring it. I have to bring it. Patty has one, too, and we keep saying, oh, we really need to drop off our typewriters. <laughs> it's like one of those things, it's there. Yes. You know, and like, I'm not going out today. We're having ice storms today. Oh, is there yeah. a place where is you know a place where you you can take it? Yeah, and South Lion is right next to Novi, 
And there's a guy there that refurbishes old typewriters. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm lucky. So I just, I just need to bring it there. Are you spelling that right, Colleen? I don't know. I'm asking. That's right, right? Yeah. 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 Rest or restore it. You just need an E. Okay. I need an E. I was doubting myself there at the same time you said that. Oh, <laughs> my God. I wasn't even looking. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay, because I actually was doubting myself, and then you confirmed it, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Came out good. It is. Oh, that's nice. That's the stays on? Yeah, that's the timber, timber yeah, brown. Yeah, it pops. It's like the same as her outline. Yeah, well, it is. It's, her really, outline it's really close. I feel like it. I feel and like it kind of helps balance out the little the little dark heart. That's true. And then it, it pulls that over. Yeah. And it also like would be good if you had like any sort of thanks, Devin. If she had some sort of um or if you had some little I don't know if I have any brown type of rub ons you could scatter through. Um I'm trying to think. Just to have some, some of the rub ones that are out there now are so nice. Can you believe yes. like how many are out now? It's like all of a sudden. I know. The 49 market has beautiful ones. Oh, and they get new ones coming out. And you know who else has a bunch on his website is uh, Seth After just came out with a bunch of. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if they're like paper artsy, but I know he has a bunch. He does. Ha I think he has some 49 in market, too. Hmm. He has a bunch on his website. Fiona had some nice ones, nice little flower ones that were really, really pretty. The other oh, day. Do, you re do you remember what brand, Helen? I think she might have said 49 in market. Really? Yeah. They have a lot. And she was she was storing them in um an old did you see that, Eileen, where she was storing her stickers? Um, in a photo album, one of the magnetic page photo albums. Stickers or rub ones? Um, I think they were her rub ones. Yeah, it was old photo albums. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Good use for those. These are some oldies. These are Heidi Grace Rub-Ons. Oh, I like those. Oh, I was just thinking like what some kind of flowers around the words. Tammy loves it, Colleen. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Oh. That, that, that adds some cuteness to it. See, growing up in the bottom. Let's see. You didn't cut them off, Colleen? I don't. Cut them off? Yeah, cut out what you need, what you want to use. Yeah, because the the other ones could get stuck on your yeah whatever you're working on. Oh, well, these are kind of old. I probably am safe, but if it does, it I guess that that's added texture. Oh God. <laughs>
perfect. You can yeah. never have too much texture. Oh, nice. That's cute. It looks good. Yeah, I like the little flowers growing up. And then I just put like one over here. Kim says she loves it. Kat says they really pop. Devin Thanks, says awesome. Man. That finishes it up so nice. Yeah, it still was needing something. It wasn't, I wasn't feeling it yet. I, I was just like, I don't want it to be super busy, but it was also seemed, it still seemed a little boring. That looks cute. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I think that's what it needed. It was just very nice. There. I don't know if I need any more top or I'm good. Looks good. Do I need more here or leave it go? I'd leave I, it go. See, and I would do more. <laughs> just because it kind of swirl because of the roundness, but that's just me. Well, maybe I'll do the little um instead of like a whole flower thing i'll do the little bits and pieces it's left up top here or do you have like a butterfly or something colleen i have these butterflies i'm not sure if they match or not i did bring those pull those out um oh now these i will cut out probably maybe a maybe couple the, of those should i get this light one or the dark maybe darker one Just of like, each one of each. Okay, let's try these. We can audition these. Oh, those are like the perfect color. Like maybe there. Oh, I might be too dark. And closer. Yeah, I think it's it needs to be. I think maybe a little lighter. Yeah. So it doesn't steal the show, but it offers some like. Because that'll that'll be see through, right? Yeah, and I might offer some delicacy to the, and then maybe like a, a teeny one. Teeny one, or like this sideways one. Let's see. Let's see. No, that's too big. Okay, we'll do the teeny. Do this one. Let me move it up. Let's see. Maybe that way. I think maybe this direction. Yeah, I think it should come that direction. All right, now go for it. Don't want to mess it up. <laughs> All right. How did you figure out how big to do her head? Um, I just kept redrawing it till I liked it. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh, nice. Stuck. It's subtle. It's subtle. It's like it's like leaving it plain, but you know, like Eileen had said, but you didn't. Yeah, Kimberly just fills in the space a little. Kimberly finished her palette. It's down there, Kathy. Ooh, Ooh. let's see. Can't wait to see. All right, let me put that big. Oh, nice! Oh, look at it. Just art. Oh, oh nice. Oh, that's so cute. It is cute. I love your little drawing. And it I like the, your, um, it looks like your curly, your curly hair. And I like the writing on the papers in the background. Yes, I like good. that too. And the flower and the blue flower with the blue pigs of the blue wings. I love your face. It's really good. I love it. Just art. 
we need to get and she and you got it too that pointy chin i noticed yeah she kind of has a pointy chin on her her girl so that's and, why and does she need just a little bit of pink on her lips or just something on her lips yeah a little my oh yeah my face yeah her face needs i agree yeah maybe so she doesn't look like she's <laughs> oh she looks yeah. more alive let's put it that way <laughs> Now I have three butterflies. I'm happy. I got to have three else. It's going to throw me off. So then I could do, it looks like you could do like a little subtle little okay. dashes. And this one's heading over to the flowers. Bye, Devin. Oh, Colleen, scooch it down just a little bit. Bye, Devin. Thank you. Bye, Bye Devin. Devin. Thanks for coming in, hanging out. Okay, let's see. Where's my you know, I need like a darker eye and some black. My, my right, can you see here? I'll get this a little bit darker. That's looking good, Kathy. Yeah, it's getting there. I like dry, drawing these kind of people that don't have to have detail. This Her eyes are definitely still not even. Hmm. I got wonky eyes. Should not put that in a wet paint. I shouldn't have burned it. Let me dry that a second. Okay. All right. Now I did too much of a blackout. Hold up. And like how her on eye look. Hold on. But, well, if I'm gonna fuss with it, I'm gonna fuss with something I can wipe back. Like that. And then I can bring this down further. She still looks like she's on drugs. Hold on. This is part I knew I would hate the eyes. We were talking about we were both <laughs> we were talking about that yesterday. Oh we were talking about how the heart eyes are to draw. I'm like, I know they are, and they like when everyone else I watch others draw them right, and I'm like, oh, that's like that would be easy, right? Till you do it yourself. And I remembered this too, Colleen. I think the best person who show like where you end up with realistic eyes at least for me, is um, Jane Davenport. If she doesn't close, it's not like a perfect oval. She leaves it. It's just, if you watch one of her videos, I've had the best luck with. Oh, they got oh where she leaves a little pointy um, yeah. space in the middle and... Oh, okay, so these arms go down to the heart. And Jasper did the prompt card from Ooh, this see. earlier. Awesome. Okay, make her not look like such a football player here. 
Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's really pretty. There's the dashes, the stamp, the neons, and very nice. And she used a little gold around the heart. Oh, I like the textures. Yeah, there. I love the textures oh, the on there. Books. I like the yeah, I like how it's layered. Mm hmm Very nice. I like the textures. I'm liking the black here too. I changed my mind. All right. I don't know how to change my mind. It's my painting. I can change, <laughs> change your mind as much as you like. Oh. All right. All right. Eyeballs take practice. I want to get better at it. Oh, isn't that one of Dee Dee's books of drawing different things? Don't they? Isn't one of the things eyes? Um, there might be an eye in a couple yeah, of them, or might be. Yeah. yeah. In like the special effects books, is that what they're called? I can't remember. But it's there is an eye in the special effects. There, book. I think that's what yeah. I'm thinking of then. Uh, I guess I can, my arms aren't that bad. Jasper posted um, a page out of that gnome book that she was talking about. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, I like those gnomes. That is cute. Here's a uh, see, and they put it. How they have it on uh, written backgrounds, almost like ledger. Uh huh. Um, oh, cool. Like a little journal. Yeah, a journal. Thank you. So then what did she do? Did she just paint on top then to color in the clothes, Colleen? Yeah, she painted on top of the, uh, uh, with the translucent color with her top papers. That mine ended up turning out not translucent, but I used cerulean blue deep. It says, it, I guess it was just not very light fast. So I should have picked a better light fast. Oh, I like that. I like that um, color blue, though. Yeah, I did, too. It's really in blue deep. I think that's where I went wrong. It didn't have uh, very good light fastness. All right. So. All right. I think I got the tilt of her head. Looks like she's got a newspaper under her arm. <laughs> <laughs> we all remember those. <laughs> or a loaf of, or a baguette. I'm glad we don't have to draw the hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that'd be another element of oh boy. <laughs> the 
thing is, these are kind of so I should just go with it. The her arms are kind of lining up with the papers. And then it's paint. Everything's paint. Oh, she's paint and Stabilio's. All right. She keeps getting thinner and thinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's better. All right. I'm amazed at how good this pencil is erasing off the background stuff. Oh, I know. I think it's because all the matte medium we have on there. Yeah. There, now she doesn't look like a football player. <laughs> There, I did that in black too, to kind of bring it all together. And I'm done. I'm happy. And I use, I remember I bought these. These were the ones that Kelly Ray U was uses. That's why I bought these. Oh, did you just get those or you've had them? I've had them a long time, but these are the those ones are that nice. she, likes, she likes to use. It's by the Cavallini Company. Oh, I have some, I have some of their stamps. That's a good stamp company. Yeah, it's like these are the ones that she always used. So I bought those a long, long, long time ago. Well, at least I don't have stuff all over the floor. <laughs> Oops, I just broke these. <laughs> I was picking. Um, I was picking up papers off the floor for an hour on Sunday from the uh, oh from, from the screen. yeah uh, from doing the, the collage course book I had uh, I had stuff all over the floor you couldn't walk up here like well you could walk up here but it was dangerous and slippery <laughs> <laughs> it was slippery and dangerous but, uh, that's what you need. Just what you need. Oh Paul. my God, Colleen, don't slip. I know it. And I kept thinking, say, I thought, I got to get up and get all these up because they're, because the paper is slippery. But I ran out of room when we were, you know, when we were uh, playing. So, and then just started throwing it on the floor because I'm like, well, my countertops are like completely covered. So, thank God you don't have a cat. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm gonna I will do is um whoops. oh yeah <laughs> that's true. I'm gonna go spray this real quick with some uh fix it in. Then I can do like some wax over top of it. Let's see that real quick. There, I think I can start to spray it by an open window. Oops. I'm gonna use this one so I don't have to go outside. Let me move my move my stuff here. Okay, so she used um, translucent paint to paint it and then went over it with some of the distressing. Make her blotchy. Ooh. Colleen. I'm sorry, say it again. Oh, I'm looking back at the okay, so she okay, so she painted it with like a real light translucent paint. Mm -hmm. That went over with some ink pad. Yes. And then she drew the facial features. Okay. Like, it, like she did like a white 
like a white paint. You could do, you know, a creamy paint. Yeah. And then she went over with like real sheer. Uh, some ink to um, darken her face. Now her okay. face is a lot lighter now. Um, All right. So I watered. And then I painted her wings. I painted her hair. All right. Let's see. I don't know if you're supposed to dry this stuff, but I'm going to. I'm just going to dry it up high. I don't think it's flammable. I just don't know if you're supposed to let it sit and dry or not. And also, that sealed in my um, rub-ons as well by spraying it. Oh, that's good. You know what I mean? So, the, yeah. you know, the, the, the move of the ink that moves plus, you know, the pencil that moves and the, and the rub-ons. Now it's all sealed in. Now I can... Now I'm going to add some of the deco art wax. Where did I put that at? Or what color are you going to use? I don't have my new color. I did order more colors. From Blick? Uh, from Blick. And I so don't which kind, what kind? Oh, the Blick colors? I have them yet. I got more colors. I did get a second beeswax one because I felt like you know, that one is the one you'll probably use the most. Oh, the deco art colors. Yeah. So I did get another beeswax. Let me look at my order. Let's see. Let's see. Let me look at my. Oh, huh, it brought up a different one. It brought up Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> Wrong Dick's. Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> Blake's Dick's, same thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why not? Take stuff out of the kitchen. <laughs> okay, I order Kanakanum Red, Dairy, or I said, uh, Day. Diary lid. It's like a yellow. Oh, um, do, how do you say that? Dara, Dara wide yellow or something? Yeah, it's spelled like diary with L I D E, but it's one word. I'm totally. Messy. I've never heard anybody say it either. I always like try to listen for somebody to say another, it. Another, another, uh, just uh, aged beeswax, a cadmium orange hue, cobalt blue hue, cobalt blue turquoise. And raw umber. Because I had the burnt sienna. And then now I have the raw umber too. I want to get those to use. I want to use them on stencils. I love how that looked. All right. There's the one. Okay. Now where did I show you guys that when we started? That I was going to put that on here and I was finished. Now what did I do with it? That. Okay, somewhere here on my desk. That narrows it down. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's the aged beeswax. Now I could put. Could put a little green here on our wings. Did the waxes blend together? Yeah, you can blend them together. Let me get a spatula. Okay, so let's go with some green. Let's dry now, right? Yeah, let's dry. Let's just put some green here. I'm just going to use my fingers, I think, a bit more control. Did 
does it feel waxy? Um, no, it, it does a little bit when it dries, not much. It just like melds everything together like one. It is not like it is sticky at all. It's very smooth when it dries. And it just, when it's wet, it feels like maybe a little bit slimy might be a word for it. But not like yucky, just a little bit it's slimy. Just like, it looks like it just softens everything, it looks like. Like the colors and everything. I think so. And then you can... I'm going to clean the edges also. No wonder I was having trouble opening it. I'm really bad about cleaning the jar edges. And then I wonder why I have trouble opening them when I let, you know, some yeah, I know. acrylic dry on the edges. Gee, I wonder why it's hard to open. I'm so bad about that. Okay. Has anybody ever done real encaustic wax? Just clear on top of stuff. But now this is to paint with. This is way easier. Well, because you know, I, to I took, my friend did a lot with it, and we did it, and I did it one time, and I said, you know what? That's not worth it. Yeah, that's why I'm, yeah, and this is just uh, super easy. It's Melting a little, it all it just and is, putting it in, having the hot water and, it's a little sneaky, it's a lot of work. It seems go like. ahead. I'm sorry, Eileen, I interrupted. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying it was, you know, you had to have hot water in a tray and put the the waxes in different different cups and oh, I said that to me it wasn't worth it. It seems like a lot of work. Especially when there's, you know, good alternatives for something very similar. Well, they did, when I did it, there wasn't any alternative. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. And I would say, like, stepped afters, um, powder stuff is pretty good for a kind of a caustic effect. The, oh, the infusions? I uh, know. His powder. Um, the wax. Yes, these, oh, the embossing powder. Yeah, like yeah. that's not that's isn't that's not like that's not too bad of an alternative. No, I like that beeswax uh, embossing powder. Jasper says she's done encaustic painting. How do you she like it, Jasper? She loved it, and she's made all her own crayons too. Oh, a griddle. That's what. My friend uses a, a griddle. Yeah. To melt that stuff. I'd rather have uh, pancakes and sausage in a griddle. <laughs> that sounds good, actually. Pancakes and sausage. <laughs> That's funny, Eileen. I just realized what she was saying five seconds later. <laughs> oh, I'm smearing my marker. Hold on. Uh -oh. Kelly, what kind, of, what kind of yellow did you use? Okay, the wax is moving my marker, which was a, um, that was a Posca. Oh, really? It. And for her skirt and everything? Yeah, yeah. Well, I used it for the words, and it definitely just moved it. That's odd. Or yeah. that the Poscas? Yeah, it's a Posca. Well, you especially since there's fixative on top of it. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. That's gonna add an element of difficulty I don't care for. Oh, and Kat said if you put a little dab of Vaseline around the lid, you won't have trouble again. Yeah, it's smearing it. Hmm. Why it is, is the wax? It's Why is the wax smearing the permanent Posca. That's, that's odd. That's sealed in addition to. 
That's a shame. Yeah, it is a shame. I oh, don't. Kind of blended in. Nice. Oh, Vampire Store. You could go over that again, though. Colleen, try a brush or something instead of your finger. Maybe you're putting it on too heavy. No, it's it's Ooh. that. You see why I just scraped it? Yeah. It and just it's moved not, it. Even. Not, the, not the ink that you use to stamp it? It not the stays on. The stays on is okay, but it, the um, Posca paint pen. Maybe it wasn't dry. Is what smeared. Yeah. I am not happy with that. Try to let it dry. Everything was dry. I dried the paint and then I dried the fixative. So I don't know what more I needed to do. Does it just need to sit for like a day? Yeah. And it's just the pasta that's moving. Yeah, it's just pasta. It's so just you're, the pasta. You're putting the, the wax rest, over it. That's what's yeah. Up. The rest of it's fine. Was it's, the blue pasta also? No, uh, the blue is paint. But the brown, the saisons, is okay. Yeah, that's perfect. If it did move that, I quit rubbing over top. But that's my fault. So I rubbed it again. But like, I don't get that. Huh. Other than it's not dry, I can't think of anything logistically that would cause that not to. Unless there's something in, and it's what 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 is it that you're putting on the the bees the wax stuff? Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna go around her instead of over her until that get that pasta more time to dry. So that. Then, so that we know, maybe take a piece of piece of something, you know, cardstock, and use your poscas on it. Let it dry overnight, then come back tomorrow and and see if it moves. So we know for sure what what's going on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's only the posca that that's moving. The rest of it's fine. The posca is like. Whoosh. Yeah, the stays on's okay. The rub on's fine if you don't rub it to death like I just did. Um, the Tim Holtz ink, that I wiped off with a wipe prior to it. It's okay. It's just Posca. Okay, let's do that. I'll do like a, I'm going to give this a little longer to dry before I go touching all that and smearing it. I regret going with the Posca. Um, Let's see. Let's get a piece of paper. That's I don't think there'd be a reaction between the Posca and the fixative. It could, oh, it could be. It could be. Oh, it could be. good point, Eileen. It, unless, unless it wasn't all fully, fully dry, and and Poscas do sometimes take a take. Okay, a let's time. try this. Let's yeah. do. I'm going to touch any of the black lines for a while. I <laughs> dry. Okay, let's do. Pasca, pasca, pasca. Pasca, pasca. Okay. Dry, dry, dry. The only the only difference between what you're doing now and what you did on the board is you're doing it on an absorbent piece of paper versus doing it on your your board that had matte medium and oh that's true let's that's true let's oh, do that and gesso and gesso okay let's do that let's do gesso and matte well, I'll do matte medium let's skip the gesso because there's all right, yeah, there was probably medium. so much matte medium. There was probably no gesso exposed. Yeah, I don't think there would have been because I covered the whole thing in paper too, the whole entire thing. All right, so we'll dry with gesso or matte medium. I'll dry it. Now I add another layer because it is on there pretty heavy with putting it on there with all those papers. I had 
50 layers of it. As you see, I still do now. <laughs> Let's figure out what the heck is happening. I don't like that. I would have never thought, I would have never in a million years suspected that to move like that. Because it's acrylic paint. I know. I'm like, it's better, you know, like, I guess I need to use a Sharpie. Mm -hmm. Your girl's looking good. It's getting there. You gotta... Get the wings the right shape. So they look sticky. more like wings instead of flower petals. Okay. Tammy said she's heard in the last couple of weeks some people having trouble with their poscas moving, leaking, not doing what they're supposed to do. Some people are even returning them. Hmm. Wow. wow. Do they change the formula maybe a little bit? Interesting. Um, yeah, because I'm like, that should not have moved. Like, that's, no, that's the whole weird. point. It's like a pasta. You can use that in lieu of like a Sharpie. You know what I mean? When you want, you know, or, um, you know, a Micron or. Okay, let's dry it and then spray some fixative on it. That's interesting. I'm glad you shared that. I did not I did not know that. And poskins typically dry really quick, too. I mean, all right, fixative. Hold on. Hold on. All right. The whole thing get covered. I have a berserko. Okay, fixative, drying. No oh, way. I'm seeing some movement, a little bit of movement, right? There. Do, do a little squiggle without putting the fixative on it and see what happens. You see that? So it must be the fixative. It's the fixative. It's the fixative, I think. That's odd. Yeah, the fixative is making the pasta not permanent. And it should interact with the other acrylic paint, wouldn't you? Huh. That's weird. That was good that you um checked. Well, you know, it's kind of like I guess I need to use a, a different fixative. I have other fixatives. See if it's just this fixative, it could be other fixatives might be fine. It could be just this fixative. I mean that is I can't believe that. Just so no one else messes up their artwork, you know, it's kind of good to know what not to mix. Did she put fixative on hers, Colleen? Yeah, she mentioned putting fixative on it. And, At uh, the end or while? Um, like is the final step or while she was doing let's see. it? Just curious. Did she say what fixative she used? 
I think at that point there was probably only Krylon. She did yeah. not use a, she, actually she did not use a fixative, but she also didn't use the wax either. No. So there, there's that, there's that too. Okay. Let's just use the white and see if it moves it. <sighs> Again, I got crusties around the lid. You can already feel it. That's color I dropped in there. That was me. All right. So my suggestion is don't do like this. Clean off your bits of Vaseline. Yeah. Clean off it. your lids before they get good and stuck. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just grab the part that's got color and I get that out of there. All right. Tammy's loving yours too, Kathy. Look, look at that. Oh, thanks. What's on top? What's that? Wax. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. So the, so, wax. So the fixative moved the pasta and the wax moved the pasta. Both. So so <laughs> wax and pastas are a bad idea and and the Poscas and these fixative, at least this particular one, is a bad idea. That's good to know. If you yeah. if you if you had a piece of paper and you put down your that first thing that you put down, a uh, matte medium, and then and then put your Posca on and dried it, with, and then don't put anything else on it. Is that Posca still moving? Now. It it faded it. It faded it a little lighter, um, but that could be the nature of it. Well, that's because it's white, though, right? If it's white. Wanted... No, I meant like right through here. But no, the wax uh, waxed directly on the Posca with no matte medium and with no fixative is fine. So it's a matte medium and fixative. That does something screwy to the to the Posca because I just put it on there. That's a good idea. So on, on that piece of paper though, you didn't have any matte medium. I correct? did not. No did matte not. medium. Put put down some matte medium and then Posca. And then, and then wax. And then no, yeah, in the or and then try to move it to see if it'll move. Hey, Eileen, these uh, little jobbers are perfect for the smaller, like for her arms and her face. Yeah, they, they really great. are nice for that. I mean, I, that's what I thought is they'd be good for the little, uh, they would be good for the little detailed areas. Are you telling me to get them, Kathy? Um, <laughs> you might like them. You might like them. Especially if you do smaller areas. Areas. Okay. Are they they're dome shaped, Kathy? Yeah, they're right here. Little domes. Still sticky. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. little domes. Yeah. I wonder if they'll come Maybe. out with uh, the felt ones for that. Oh, the flat ones? No, felt. the felt ones for the alcohol ink. Oh, that's right. And then we'll do like white lines. Okay. I forgot about those. Okay. Now. Where's my taco? Oh, here it is. Okay. 
Make sure it's not super warm so I could activate the wax. All right, so matte medium, Posca, no fixative wax. Mirrors it. Wow, not as bad not as, as bad. with the fixative. But it still moved it a little bit. It still moved it. That is so odd. It is so hard. So, yeah, so we're back to the matte medium and the, the fix it. It both made the, this unstable. Huh. That's really odd. It is. And it's, it's good to know because if you're in the middle of a project like you were, and yeah, you, you don't want to screw it up. Yeah, exactly. Spent like, yeah, two, three hours working on it, you know what I mean? And then go and have a product malfunction. Yeah, and you dried that and everything, so. Yep, I dried the medium, I dried the marker. You Still should make smeared. some notes on that on that piece of paper, Colleen, and save oh, it. Good idea. Room. Yeah, because that's important. Yeah, the notes yeah. should say, don't use this crap. <laughs> yeah, don't use matte medium with too many T's or fixative under or wax. <laughs> oh, that's right. The wax on top only moved it a little bit or under uh, pospis. Now, this was just pasta straight on, but what the wax, it wax did kind of, it kind of rubbed it off a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. See how light it is there? It didn't like cover it so much as it rubbed it off a little bit. Huh. I wonder if they, if they were, I know you heat dried them, heat set the pascas, but if you, if you gave it more time versus heat setting it. Maybe because I oh, like to let it cure to let it cure because people are using these on their on their art and probably over matte medium. You know, they're using it for fine details and things yeah. over other acrylic paint, which. Hmm. Yeah. Makes makes you want to, it makes you scratch your head, doesn't it? You're like, okay. Yeah, I gotta wait for everything to dry and try to go back in and like fix my lettering. Because it got smeared. It's unbelievable. Uh, do you? I wonder what other people were having was uh, with the Poscas, Tammy. Were they were they becoming just moving the same as I have? I think she said like they were. You know how sometimes a bunch of paint comes out. I've had that happen. Yeah. But that I mean, you got to really just, shake them up good. You have to shake them, but then you can't have it too wet, and you can't be pressing down on the nib while you're yeah. doing it. Because I've had that happen a few times. Yeah, it's it. This has been sitting over there for a few minutes. It's definitely moving it. The wax. All right. I'm being very careful because I don't want it screwed up, but it is moving it still. Oh my God! Hmm. Look at this. This is all the matte medium coming off my fingertips. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like. Oh my God. Oh, what a disappointment. Almost. Oh, luckily, it was over there and I didn't down her face. I did work all hard on her eyes. Luckily, the, I didn't do any over here. And it was on the lettering. I just did a little bit just right here. And see how black it got? Because it started activating it. Unbelievable. Was that Stabilo with the black or Posca? Posca. 
Oh, I thought you used Stabilo on the around her. Oh, I did that, and then I did the well, I did Stabilio, and then I went back over with Posca because oh, okay. I wanted it darker. But it's moving; it's not moving the pot. It's not; it's moving the black. And I did not put any of the pencil over here. That was just the Saison and um, Posca. Posca. There was no pencils over there, so luckily. If I would have went like this with the wax, I think I would have just cried. Like, seriously. Like, that shouldn't happen. So, I'd say be cautious. Especially if you're working, putting Poscas on a surface that's not absorbent. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that way you don't ruin your work. I'm going to go back over this because I will not be adding more wax. Now, like, you know, Dee Dee uses these on coloring book pages, but then, you know, I mean, all the time, but they're very porous. You know what I mean? She uses them in her <coughs> um, reverse collage books, too. Well, that's true. And then varnishes the pages. Yeah. I wonder how the beeswax embossing powder would work. If it would be better about, about not moving it? Yeah. Maybe. But for that biggest surface... <clears throat> that's a lot of beeswax oh, powder. That's a valid point. It's pretty expensive and for you to, uh, to cover that large surface. I would agree, Kathy, because that's kind of pricey. So I don't know about that either. So. That's all right. We're okay. At least it's only on the letters. Yeah, it's just even, yeah, I went all around and skipped that whole thing. It's going to make me think before I throw all these things, mix these things together for sure. Like, are you going to put lettering over that? I, no, I think I'm going to, I don't know if I can line it up. Can't, who, what does uh, Art Foamy Lady do? She goes over it with a, with a black. A black oh, sharpie or something. She uses a black marker. But I'm wondering if you have that wax on there when you write on it. Oh, yeah. There's a sharpie paint pen. Yeah, sharpie should go over, go over anything. Let's try this. This is the sharpie paint pen that should go over it. Does that work? Yeah, this is working. So it'll be interesting to see if anyone if anyone else is at a stream and you see people having issues with their Poscas, pass that along and share like Tammy did so we can you know, I mean, avoid uh, mistakes mm -hmm. and have a, and then we can kind of figure out this is, you know, they've changed their formula. Uh, they've changed their formula a little bit or something. Because that's the only thing I can think of is they changed the formula slightly. And it was just the black color that you tried, too, so. That's oh yeah, I didn't even yeah, I only use black and I did use a little white on her eyes. But yeah, I did, I'm sure I did not try any. I'm sure I would assume the formula is the same, but you know, there's that. Well, this worked great. So that was it. Yeah, so the Sharpie um, paint pen, but this is oil based. Did that work? I'm glad it worked. 
Yeah, me too. I want the whole thing ruined because of, yeah, because the overlapping mediums reacted with that. Jeez, all peace. I was like, what is happening? I'm trying to think when I used it the other day, I don't think I used it over the wax over a medium. I think I was just putting them on. Let's, you know, what I mean, let's try yeah, just straight onto the paper. Okay, let's see if we do a um, like a water soluble. Which eye do you do first if you're right handed? Left. Thank you. Let see if one. I can get less scary eyes today. <laughs> Less scary eyes. Those were. There. Maybe I can put this back down. I had that before. I want to try some. I want to try a water, a spray that moves. And then dry it and then throw the wax on it. Now I want to see. Hmm. On Posca's website, it says Posca water-based paint is permanent on porous surfaces and removable on smooth, non-porous surfaces. Oh, there you go. That's all that. So, it, so it's moving the because this isn't because this isn't porous. <clears throat> because with all the matte medium and stuff on it. The gesso and matte medium. Okay, so I guess I'd recommend for I might even purchase uh, some more of these uh, Sharpie oil-based paint pens to have. Yeah. For for projects like this, that it won't move. So I'm gonna get some more of these to have for these instances. So that way you don't have to worry about your pasta, the other rune. Get me a black, a brown, a you know, white. Just get me the basics um, Sharpie paint pen. Okay, I wanted to do, where did I put it? Excuse me. Let's see. Let me get a. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I had buried my I know I buried my thing so I'm going to do this real quick I'm going to just do a test here with you know, another test with this wax I'm going to put medium okay this this letter down on it. Medium top too. Now I want to see what my lim I love the wax, but I need to know what the limitations are. And now I'm going to get me some oil-based paint pens for non-porous areas. Now the matte medium is scooting out a little bit, but that's to be expected. Okay, because I do know what pen they used. Okay. I'm going to dry it, then I'm going to spray it, then I'm going to dry it again, and then I'm going to throw on that wax. I'm going to head out and get some lunch. Oh, bye, okay, Helen. Helen. Thanks for being here, Helen. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy your, enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. It was nice for this day. Everybody stay. I would try to figure out like what the heck is happening. Oh, oh wow, it's after two. Yeah, I'm glad you were you had that to do because I've been 
I know you're still working on your face. And yeah, now I want to see. Now I want to try. I want to try this real quick. See what happens. Well, I had no issues with the wax with the collage I made the other day. But I wasn't using Posca's. Yeah, I mean, so. Well, and that's just something true, Colleen, with the waxes. You'll have to see, like, with all the, your different products, you know. Yeah, you see, like. How they interact with everything. I think I use, I think I only use glue stick. I don't think I put anything on top. I think I just use the glue stick and then put everything down. And then, then whenever with the wax. Today. Okay. Let's see. This is the new color. I like it. It literally makes it look like, like old paper, man. I mean. Oh, I like that. That's really yeah. cool. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it really does make it look like old, old paper. Okay. This is pretty thin, so that's why I'm going to heat the back. Make sure it's dry. Okay, I'm going to let this cool one second. It's really hot. Now I'm going to take a sip. Nope, maybe not. Okay, another sip. Let's drink it. All right, let this cool off a second. Okay. Let's see. Now let's try the wax. There is some ink, but it could be the it could be the pen they used. I guess that's maybe wasn't a fair test either. Or maybe the wax moved that in. Maybe the wax moves all inks. I don't know. That'd that be up. odd. Wouldn't it? All right, so I'm gonna put that here. So I don't want to put that back in the jar because you can see the color it was and the color it went to. Mm. I say we test, test, and test. This is a good way if you're going to test, do it on like, if you're going to do like a Rolodex or whatever, just something that's small. Your, that's you fun. know. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. That's fun. Then you've got something to put in your Rolodex. Yeah, you have some put in your Rolodex and do some, you know, do some of the experimentations on the, uh, on stuff like this. That way you don't have to. You don't have to do a big old project. Then on the back, we can write what it was. All right. You'll see that time there's no. So I did the first layer, moved the ink and smeared it. The second layer did not move the ink after it was dry. So the wax sealed in that ink that was moving. I'm going to do like uh, Lisa did. She did three coats of the this wax and then a coat of the white. Okay. 
Uh, you know, after this wax dries, what would be kind of sinking my cool because I can tell it's getting feeling a little crispy right at the moment. Uh huh. Get some cracks in it. That's think, really pretty, though, Colleen. It looks really pretty. I think you could you could bend like the corners or bend it and yep. get a little crack in it because of, of the wax. And then put ink over it and wipe it away. Yes. All right, so that I can put back in the jar because it did not full color. Okay. Dry. And try to, then she did clear. Oh, thanks, Tammy. Megan is on with Art Foamies, so we could get to watch that when we're done. Oh, thank you. Uh, the advantage of it, it melds the paper. It melds the paper. Like if you use a, a collage, I, like I did uh, the other week, like a whole bunch of different papers and you piece it together with glue and not necessarily with all the matte medium I did on the other. It, it melded it together to where it looked like one piece of paper. It didn't look like I put all those different papers on it. So I think this melds it together. And I think that's the advantage of the wax. And then gives it a shiny surface, an old world, kind of has an old world. But I would say if you're hesitant, I would only get one and try it. Just get a couple colors and try it out. Now, do you think you'd end up like putting that over all your art or just certain pieces? That's a good question, too. I don't know. Okay, so I'm putting the white so it maybe has a little haze so it looks a little more like caustic. This is what Lisa did. Three coats of the other and then a coat of that. Let's see. Let's try it. And then I like the idea of being able to kind of bracket because the other one I did I thought it melted I because I use rice paper tissue paper a magazine collage stamped on it it just melted it together it looked like if you went out and you bought it it would be a scrapbook piece of paper that was scanned cool it, it melted it so together so well okay so now I'm getting the white which now makes it look, I don't like the white on there. Let's get that dry. Now I'm going to try to crack it in a second. Okay. All right, let me dry the back. If the back is yucky like this, and you don't want it yucky, just glue another Hard to the back and it had disappeared. Okay, so you can see there's like the white and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try to crunch it. Ready? Let me cool it off. It still is hot. Hold on. I could feel it getting stiffer. Like, cause this started off as, I mean, this is a really old um, Rolodex I'm using and the paper is old. And then this paper is old. So everything was super flimsy. So it is really thick and it's no longer flimsy. And now if I bend it up and make it, with a, there we go. I like that. Ooh, I like these creases. Okay. okay, so now I'll hold this up. I 
it's hard for you to tell with the I know you see the white at the moment, but it, it has a bunch of deep creases. You'll see in a second. Okay, let's take since this one's it's out. Gorgeous. This, it's every it's just like every layer you put on, it gets prettier and prettier. Yeah, it just gets like all right, let's just go over with this one, but not the others I have to unwrap. Anyway, it'd be a different color than what the spray was anyway. Okay. So now, now you can, now I have all the creases. You can see the white. You can see the green. If you don't like what color, you could always just cover it up too. Oh, that's pretty. Gosh, that's neat. That was like, almost like parchment paper. I mean, it really is. Uh -huh. Like it's burnt. and Yeah, see, really example. Good. Well, see, do I have another? Here. See how this is? Super thin. And then now this one is like leather. It feels like leather right now. Instead of. It, see how it's like almost like flexible. Now it's got the wax. Gorgeous. You know, this could make book covers. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? Because it's it's flex, it makes it flexible. So you, if you folded this, gave it a spine, you know, fold it here and here, make a spine, and covered the inside with some of that. You could actually make a little mini book with this that would kind of look like leather. That would be cool. Yeah. Okay, I like this. I like this idea. Now let it dry. And see how on the initial line it it kind of get black. Ooh. Okay. This this literally could be folded and made into a little book in an instant. I can't believe how this wax makes it feel like a piece of um, what's that one paper fabric that Eileen likes? Krylon. Oh, not Krylon. Uh, God, what's the name of that? Oh, the it, text. Yeah, it reminds me of that. The um, uh, craft text. I, Yes. Perfect. Thank you. I literally am just can't think. But like both of these are really thin papers and this is almost feels like that. It feels like that Krylon right now. Craft text. Craft text. Craft text. I wonder how the I wonder that would be fun to try is putting the waxes on the craft text to paint it. You could. You could try that. Now, let's see. Let's do. I finish this off. I could write some notes on the back of this. What I did. We do like a, like a rub on. The rub-on should have little creases in it, too, like the paper. I'm going to make sure I got that in there and all the little creases. This one's gonna make me work at it. What happened there? There we go. That's pretty cool. Except for the chunk that came out. I can I get that chunk down? Mm. 
Interesting. You can see there's like little bubbles. Wax. Okay. I like how that looks. I'm just going to cut this out real quick, give you an idea. Okay, I was wondering what she used the pit pens for. That's to fill in the eyes. Who? May? Um, uh, her? Yeah. yeah. The eyes and the... Or the face. I know, because I'm like, uh, I was going to be too You also could use the wax, I think, to put natural elements down and seal them in. And paper ones like this one. Yeah, I mean, maybe it looked a little like, a little more like this. But like that feather. Is that a stencil or did you draw it? That was a rub on. Wow. It looks like, and it's a saying, it has little white specks of the wax on there. I feel like that looks pretty cool on its own. I need like a quote or something. Let's see. Maybe something in black. Where's this one coming up? Oh, apparently it's not a sticker. I guess that'll work. Get to cut that one out. That's no fun. They're not stickers? Yeah, they were stickers. Yeah, they cut them out. I was like, what the heck? All right, I'm ready to do the Stabilo. Too shiny. Not the, like the maybe just like a. This. I mean, this might be better. Maybe it could be too shiny. Let's see. Maybe I'm going to stamp on again. Not like any of it. I'm going to stamp on again. I just start at the top and work down so I don't smudge. Uh, yeah. Uh, so glad I'd use brayer paper to trace over. Does this make it any good or not? She's pretty faded, which might be perfect. So I don't want it to be super bold.
say your ice was coming. You you were gonna get ice earlier. You said yeah, snow and then ice and snow yeah. and ice like on and off. I all think day. ours is a chance that the rain could turn to ice. It's on the ground. Oh, you're gonna have it way worse. I hate ice. Yeah, they actually. Um, I think Kevin's uh, the team he coaches is up north. They had closed their school today, and I don't think he was going up to practice. Wow, which is unusual. I mean, for here, it's that's bad if they're closing. The yeah, I know what you're saying because you're used to getting the bad weather where you're at. So. That would make sense. Like that. I should just use this to ink the edges too. I don't like that. Okay. Then I'm going to glue I'm gonna make that be yourself. Just distressed and looks old world. I like it. I just need to glue a back to it. Because the back is yucky. What did I do with that? I'm going to glue this. I'm going to glue this to the back. And it gives a little more, little more strength that way too. This tabila works really good over the collage. Oh. oh, yeah, it does. It glides right over. And it, you can, you know, wipe it back off. If yeah. If you're <clears throat> happy with it, which if there is an advantage to that. Cut that right. Okay, I'm gonna go get my roll of X. I had no, I didn't think I was gonna finish this today. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I'd finish this before we were done. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the smaller ones, though, I'm going to put it towards the front. I don't, really don't have that much in this one. I mean, I've done a few. I did that one. I did that with the P. I did that forever ago. And I think I stuck a Jeannie Oliver. Oh, those really? are fun. I haven't worked that much in it. I have a bunch of tabs in the front that are really in place. I think I took some of the pagers out. Not gonna show up unless you flip through it, but okay guys. Oh, I'm glad we don't have to draw ears. <laughs> All right. That looks good. So on the back, real quick. Thanks, Timmy. Okay, I'm gonna write what we did. Real quick, I need to write that down here because it will leave my mind. Okay. This was an old letter. That's matte medium. Uh, Tim Holtz. Scorched Timber. Spray. Three coats of these wax. I go art. One coat of clear white. Um, bent. Folded, a 
decreases. And Tim holds walnut ink over creases. And then a feather rub on and a stamped quote. Today is one twenty three two thousand twenty four. Perfect. Now I have every, all the steps that we did. So if I like this, I can come back and refer to it. I really did like. I mean, I don't, actually, I see a couple more creases. I want to hit with this. I really liked adding the creases um, after it was waxed. I know you can crumble paper and you can do this without the wax, but the wax definitely gives it some uh, legit, uh, just thickness, strength. And so it's a little different. And this does feel like leather. I love it. And I like how the wax is just still like, still showing through somehow on that rub on. But yeah, so all the things are on the back. So all the info so that's a lot of that's different really stuff <clears throat> one, that was a lot of steps for one little card yeah it's worth it though it looks good yeah that was a lot of little steps but yeah it looks nice i like it Then when I was putting away the images that was all over the floor, I um, found this one. And this image, let me this stuff out of the way so it doesn't get yucky. This image, so I start with this book I started. I thought this may go in here. Because it has like the blues, uh, the blues, the creams. And this is something I picked up to put in here. The rice paper birds. These are just some papers I thought might go. But yeah, I was thinking how well she would go in here. And so I kept it out. I love when you come across something mm -hmm. like this. That can you pull back a little bit? You're covering. You're cutting off her head. Actually, her head gone. Oh, <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> but I am gonna have to like sacrifice a little bit of her feet. But I actually really think that that looks kind of goes with the blues and the brown pages in this book. Yeah, it's in that it it's the color scheme. Yeah, and then this like picks off the yellow on the other side. So I I was like, "Oh, well, I'm glad I painstakingly put everything away and I didn't just like throw it in there like I wanted to cuz I was like, "Oh my god." Um, I had such a mess. I think when I do work in that book again, I'm going to cut out of um, a book it's like you were doing. That those loose images might be less messy. Well, you were going, you were using uh, what's her name's images, but I mean, oh, the Tracy Gould book. Yeah, like might be less um, than having all my messy free since I needed so many. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in here. Now add to it. Let's see. Oops, it's crooked. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna add her. Hey, my now my book could be a little crooked too. I could see that as well. 
Okay, let me cut the pages. All right, I'll start with this side. I'll lose part of her face, but that's all right. I'd rather have it straight because that's going to drive me bonkers if it's not straight. Okay, where's need something clean? My hands are not clean. Let me get paper towel. This uh, paper towel. Where are my paper towel? Okay, let me get on out of the back. I want to rub this without. Like I already see something right there. I don't want to get any more junk on here. It's on my fingers. Yeah, I know this matte medium is driving me crazy. I've got glue. I've got you know ink. I've got everything on here on my fingers right now. There. I'm going to leave that in there. And I'm going to go over here and cut this out. Yeah, I like that. When I came across there, I was like, oh, she's going to go in my blue book. I know. I love when you find stuff to use on other projects from, you know, what you were working on. Yeah, it's another one of our, you know, thousands of journals that we have. And fun to find an image you can just throw in there. I didn't have to make a book based on or make you force it to work. I like her. So yeah, I kept her out when I saw her. I was like, oh, she's perfect because with the all the blues and browns and just that feeling. And then uh, I love these guys. I bought this from Doggles. This is St. Hilaire's um, rice paper. Oh, nice. Oh, those are cute. Oh, think... the, the birds she made from her collage. Yeah. That looked nice. Mm, my God. Yeah. All well, these loose papers in here, but yeah, I like I just like add a couple birds, put a bird on it. <laughs> the old saying, <laughs> yeah, these are chickadees. Chick I love chickadees. Gosh, we've been putting out so much bird seed with um. It being cold and snowy, and we've had a lot of starlings. They're kind of piggish, but they're hungry too. So we put out extra feeder, kind of with put the food out that the little birds will be able to get to. So at least if the big birds take the other. They still have some. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we added extra. So did you ever see any robins? Oh yeah, they're, I see the robins are like hanging out, like hanging out like under my tree, like you said there, because I I forgot about the fact that you know trees are berries when I was telling you that, like uh -huh. completely forgot about you know, our trees are berries, and I was like that's where I picked it, and I was like that's why they're under hers are the berries. I'm gonna use a little matte medium. No, not my man. Actually, I want the other glue stick. I like this glue stick for the rice paper. It's a um, melty. It's like oh, that glue, the G L O O one. That's that's good. Yeah, it's like I like it, but it's not for everything. No, at all. Hold on, which way am I going? Oh, did I use it all? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I, I have another. Okay. They dried out. They're all dried out. Oh my gosh. 
He's in one. Yeah, look at that. That's terrible. Yeah. It's, that's what the other one was, too. It's it's literally dried out and stuck in there. It's shriveled up and dried in there. Huh. Remember I always talk about everything dries out here? Yeah. All my paints and everything dry. Everything just, like, dries out so bad here. Uh, as a prime example, those really expensive glue sticks completely dried out. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this house, this area that my stuff dries out. I'll put this one over here. Does it just happen during the winter when you have the heat on? It could. It could. I mean, we have a humidifier, but I guess maybe it's it's just not enough. And then I'm upstairs, too, where it would be, um, you know, hotter upstairs. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I like her. It'd be kind of neat. I saw this in the Art Journaling magazine. Um, Recently? they laid like a piece of artist, uh, not the art, not art, going the other one. They laid Understand. like this over it, and then they stitched through the tracing paper and left it. How cute! It was just, it was in the uh, summer set. It was a pretty neat trick. This is that when we made washi tape paper. I think it may be something like that. Still have these I haven't added in. Still have this paper. I love this paper. Oh, that's this good. Paper. With the foxes yeah. and the owls. This, I think, was Daphne's diary. Oh, was like that it. Daphne's diary? That's really cute. Isn't that cute? I just add it in here. I'll do something on top of it later, but I just like it and want to add it. I don't think I need it over here unless I put a strip of this. At the, that runs vertically. I'm thinking that's what I always do. Like. Okay, I'm going to go over and get <clears throat> I need to get a cereal box to make my heart because I can't make it real thick because it's in my book. I just need to oh! That's Make true. Sure there's no cereal in the cereal box. <laughs> that might be cute there. Then maybe. Maybe stitch a little bit. And then could have some stuff like hanging off the border, maybe. I'm talking out loud. I love that. Okay. And yeah, that's going to go there. I'll go so that when Kathy comes back. I'm going to put this here. I got a little piece of uh, cardboard. Okay. Boy, I'm glad my nephew got my printer working. Oh, what was wrong with it, Eileen? He had to get on online with Epson because it was reprogrammed wrong. That's and they had to reprogram it. Oops, how did that happen? That's crazy. I guess it was like that when I got it. Huh. It's luckily it's good they were able to um you know do it online. Yeah. Well they had him 
doing this and doing that. But was then, he in with his son? No, he was by he was getting home from Chile. Oh, okay. Next he goes to Finland and Sweden. No, Switzerland. Oh, nice. Tell yes. us to bring you back some chocolate. Yeah. Have them bring you back some Swiss chocolate. Yeah. Hmm. By the time it gets to me, it'd be a big blob. Hmm. Ah, uh, that should be bigger. So what did you what did you use for your heart, Colleen? I think you just painted oh, it she, in. Oh, okay. She went and forgot she went to sew. I can't believe the winds are finally calming down here. Oh, they were still bad. That was over a week, Eileen. That's terrible. Well, what was it? Yesterday, oh, Sunday, they were so bad. The thing, everything is blowing around. Oh, wow. How was your, all your, you didn't lose any trees or anything, did you? No, thank God. There wasn't any tornadoes. I'm so lucky to oh, hear. Phew. And How's the was, temperature, Ben? It, it, at night, it was in the 40s, and now it's in the 80s. Okay, so back to normal, hopefully. Yes. Until the next run comes in next week. Oh, man. Weather's just been so weird. Mm-hmm. So bad. Well, I mean, it's going to be 50s, upper 50s here in a few days. That's and good just your came, area. And then, like, and then we just came from, like, you know, single digits. Now we're, and then we're gonna be going up to like fifties. Yeah, it's all over the place. It's forty-four here right now. So I'm like, uh, it's just all over the place. Yes, well, I, here, I, Colleen. I don't I just, like single digits. Ugh. I just looked. It's seventy-seven here. Seventy-seven. That's not bad. Okay, I forgot my bobbin's empty. I'm not doing that right now. Because that's, oh, I hate doing that. I hate filling my bobbin. Why? It's so <laughs> hard to do. It usually takes me a couple times before I get, before I get the thread going in the right direction and then get it to actually work in the machine after I get it wound. Oh, the whole thing. I don't enjoy that part of a sewing machine is doing the bobbin. It's such a pita. It never goes smoothly. It never goes correctly you mean to fill the bobbin with thread or putting the bobbin both, in both. Okay. neither one ever neither one ever runs smooth ne neither i can never get either one of those to do what they're supposed to do like I get a sewing problem <laughs> i'm sure it's user error okay i need to go look for my plaster stuff okay but isn't it easier when you hold the two threads in the back to start sewing? Oh, yeah. I, I agree. And uh, 
and then making sure that the bobbin's going the right way and it doesn't get knotted up and yeah, just a I don't thing. understand how you can get it to not go the right way and only can turn one way. It gets knotted up. I've had to pull things out. I've had to pull things out of the bobbin thing. I've had that, that the bobbin's like my nemesis of the sewing machine. Once I get it working, I'm like, oh, thank God. I don't have to, like, do anything for a while. Like, it's good to go. It's good. I don't have to fool with it for a while. I'm always thankful when I don't have to do anything for a while. What thread do you use in the bobbin? Uh, it starts with a G. The what? G. It starts with a G. Uh, Do you use regular thread in it? Are you gutter, gut, gutter men? But do, is it bobbin thread or regular thread? I don't know. I think it's just like, I usually use heavy duty thread. Oh, don't use heavy duty thread in your bobbin. Oh. oh. I think it's heavy duty. Because you'd have to adjust the bobbin case if you use heavy duty thread. Oh, you're supposed to mix plaster too? Mix it with the what? Okay, first I, here's, okay, I've got this stuff. Go big because you can't see. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, so I have this stuff, which I was going to wrap around it, but then it says mix the plaster. I didn't know you had to, pl I'm not doing that. Mix plaster? I thought you just wet the white, wet them, and then just wrap them. No, that's what I thought. No, you have to, you wrap it, and then it's, you have plaster, and you mix that. I'm I just thought the plaster was in the, in the wrap. It is. Uh, is it. It. I am, but it, I was just reading the directions. I was just saying she put plaster, she wrapped it, and then she put plaster on top of it. Huh? Okay, I'm going to get my book and look. Now I'm confused, too. Wait a minute. My book is buried. Hold on. Use your fingers to apply the plaster mixture to the rigid wrap layer on your shape. Step like 13 and 14, Colleen. So that's, okay. that's basically a layer for the plaster. Yeah, so there's like you put this on and then you're supposed to add plaster over it, probably to make it more textured or something. No plaster, harden it. Right. Okay, so you cut your shape off. Use scissors, cut the plaster in strips. Okay, dip I guess the strips, that. Dip, the, dip the strips in water and then wrap it around your foam heart. Okay. Rub it with your fingers to cover completely with water. You'll notice small holes start to blend together when the wetness of the pressure your fingers and repeat remaining strips until your shape is covered. Let dry about 10 minutes. Then it has, then it does show mixing plaster Paris, which I actually had bought that. I actually had some projects I wanted to try with that. And you mix that and put that on top to make a goopy. I wonder if you could use in lieu of so if you don't have plaster. I wonder if you could lose like use blah, 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 I can't talk the fiber paste. Like something like that. It's like or even deep. just bottling paste. Yeah. Um I'm thinking like fiber paste is kind of beefy. I don't have um, fiber paste. Um, I'll just do, you know what? I'll just do modeling paste. Modeling paste. You could just do that. I know. I'm just like, oh my God, plaster. 
or I mean, it looks kind of neat like this. I may just have it all wet, wet, and let it dry, and then you just leave it over like that. It. Yeah, and coat it with uh, some paint. Yeah, and forget that because it'll and this will not worry about adding the plaster over top of it. I think that's just so I have to get rid of the bumps, maybe. Yeah, and this will give it. I don't mind if there's bumps or. No, this will work. I was just surprised. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, so if you don't have any, I mean, you don't have it. And it said just to mix a small amount, so then you could just pitch it. You wouldn't have to, like, have a big amount. But No, so I know. If you don't want to fool with that, I don't understand that, too. Bye, Cat. Have a nice day. Bye, Dar. Spackle. Bye, Dar. Oh, spackle would work. Put the glue stick in a Ziploc bag. That's a possibility, like a sandwich bag. Can't hurt. And mist it with some water. Bye, maybe. Dar. Thanks for being here all day. Do you have do you have spackling? Somewhere. Hmm. I'll be. I'll do something with it. Okay. Um. I see if it's not see it's by uh peanut bar see if it's dried out <laughs> oh let's see let's see yep hard as a brick oh my gosh Colleen hard as a brick oh. I have mediums and paints and clear and glue stick. Everything dries out here. It's oh, one solid. And that's with cover. Of course, they're not supposed to last a lifetime, right? But I don't know. I should start dating these and see how long it is. I pick, pull it out again and dries out. It's one solid clump. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. That's why I hate the, That's why I hate to stock up on mediums. Be like that because of a dry nap. I think let's we'll start this one is this is Finnabar versus TCW. Okay, this is still okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, good. The light paste is still okay. That other part is rough. I had my Finnabar clear gesso um <clears throat> dried up. Oh, wow. wow. Clear gesso? Yeah. It's so mad because you can't, you can't, I didn't want, you can't get it in the tube anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's only in a jar and you can't reconstitute it. Yeah. All right. There, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to hit this with a heat gun and see if that helps dry. Colleen, I think you're muted. Oh, no. I'm just not talking. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> That's so unusual. Oh, just not talking. I was focusing on putting my stencil down in the right place. Breathe. 
I know it's hard to keep talking when you're working on stuff. Well, yeah, actually, I'm. I was. I'm trying to be like precise about my placement too. So I was. Sorry about that. All right, that's. I think that's a good size. Oh, I hate this plaster stuff. When when you ah. When you what? When you what take it out and unroll it, all the plaster um, dust goes all over the place. And when I picked up the bag to put it back in, it turned upside down and went all over my desk. Oh. oh. I mean, wow. like it just a dusting here. Hold on. You need my vacuum. I'll hand it over to you. I know. I do need your vacuum. I do have. Let's see if I can do this without getting everything all over the place. Yeah. I just didn't want all the little scraps of paper to blow everywhere. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah. Oh my God, it's all over my pants. Anyway, I'll wipe that off the edge. So it looks pretty good. I'm going to dry that. I figured if I dry it and then I wet it, the Here, let's infusions see. might just color these blue. So it's going to reactivate them. I love Lauren. that bird. Isn't she cute? Okay. Let's see. What do you think, Eileen? So I did the blue, kind of did it in the wrong order. I should have did the paste, then the blue. Less. But I did the blue and I got the paste. So should I reconstitute the blue? Yes. Or add more blue. Try to reconstitute it and see what if it works. Okay. Oh, so the paste is the white stuff, is the white that you put through the stencil? Yeah. The old uh it's a really oh. old prima. Could you go over that with a blue um, ink pad and just hit the tops? Or a brown. Or, or brown. Um, let me think. Just catch it, you know. I, I wonder if you could just, just catch, catch it. the top to color it, yeah. Um, Ooh, the Tim wants the new the Tim stems, or do I want to like over it with? Let me think. I'll leave that piece with it. Okay. Well, I, I just read up the room by pitching a paste that was bad. So there's one. There's <laughs> one bonus. We throw this one.
blue off my hands again. I get the blue back off. Yeah, that takes a second to dry and get the some of the blue off. Ugh, I still can't get the glue off. Well, it's better what it was. Man, when you have 50 layers of glue and paint. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Okay. I don't know if I have a pretty or if I have a pretty blue ink pad. Let me see what I have in hymns. Can I like to, to use the new uh scorch timber? Yeah, because that's more like the grayish brown. I'll use the new one. Okay. Let me open that. Just be careful. I know. I don't want to like ruin like to have too much brown. I got that. I got the mini in that. Did you get the mini ones, Colleen? Mini ink pad? No. Yeah. See, but I can use the itty, itty bitty foam thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now that'll be perfect. Okay. Or, yeah, I guess that'll work. Can I uh, emboss those? No, it's still too wet. Because it's dry. It's dry. It's too sure. late. I could have put a glaze on it when it was wet, but who like? Okay, where is my ink pad? Let me locate it. Oh, I know. I could try. Hold on. I could try. I knew Lindy's. Ugh. Use my hands. It's partially peeled paint. I was trying to get some off in the bathroom. If I do paint that on with this. Oh, wait. Why is that purple? I'm so freaked out by this. Ooh. This brown. Where's a piece of paper? Like, that is purple. That is not brown. No, it's almost, there was pink in there, too. It was almost, like, mauve colored when you put yeah, it on Yeah, let's screw up my, okay, not using that. That will mess things up. Oh, let's see. Let's try this idea. Let's spray the Distress ink over here. Try to fill this in. I think I want to oh. find a nice quote for the other side. Did you finish your heart? Did I miss it? I was um, to I'm do drying it. it. I don't want to. I want to make sure it's dry before I put it down because it's. I use like quinacridone magenta here. Hold it. We can see. Oh, cute. And I like it. I don't think you need to do that plaster. I like I don't the, think so either. I like the texture it gives from just that stuff. Oh, I like that plastered heart just the way it is. Yeah, because it has, you see, you know, the the netting that it's on or something. And then it leaves. Yeah, I don't bumps. really think that's a bad thing. No, I like no, I like it. It can see how it yeah. gives it all that texture. Because Oops. now it's like, you know, you know, you used, um, you know, you know, you used it like the plaster. It's yeah, not just like a flat piece of cardboard there. Oh, I like it. Oh, and that just like pops the page too. And so the rest you'll just roll back up then and store. Yeah, I've already, <laughs> it's already in here. This is this, you know why I have this? This is the stuff I use. I used to make a mask of Kevin's face to send in, so they could make his goalie helmet the right size. So That's he had right. to, he had to put Vaseline like all over his face, and then he had a straw, and I just put strips of this, and then he had to, and then it had to dry, and then I lifted it off. 
That would freak the hell out of me. I don't yes. think I could handle just breathing through a straw. Like he's I, tough. I, like that would terrify me. I don't. Uh, I don't know if I could. That's like that's like you know that's like snorkeling. I mean, right. you know, we were talking about like snorkeling the other uh, the other week. Yeah. Oh gosh, not. Nah, I couldn't deal it mentally. I couldn't do it. Well, and I don't. Because of my nose, I can't always breathe through my nose really good. And I just be like, I don't, and I forget what we did with, because I had to put the tape, I had to put that stuff up over his nose, because that was part of it. They had to, <sighs> you know, get the right size of his nose and everything. Ugh. Yeah, he couldn't be stuffy when he did that. Oh, well, I guess I wouldn't marry. You just got to breathe through your mouth. But still, that's, uh, I, I don't know. know. That, that would I told him, he, he was, he had a couple of friends over. I'm like, let's do it now while your friends are here. It'll go faster. It'll be more fun. I had him lay on the kitchen table because I wanted to be up high. You know, mm. I didn't want to be like bending over. So, but yeah, that was, that was interesting. Did you ever take photos of the process? I should have. Yeah, I mean, I think that would just be interesting to look back on, too. I, I mean, how often are you going to how often <laughs> you gonna tell your kid to, like, lay down on a kitchen table? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Surgery time. Scalpel. Okay. <laughs> now... Okay, this is working. So using Tim's new spray and just a brush and just paint it on rather than whatever that weird brown is of Lindy's. It looks purple and pink and anything but brown. No, I really like that color. It's pretty, but it's not brown. No, I mean the one you're using now. Oh, the magical. Oh, that's the new color. It is yeah. pretty. I could have used this in her hair, too. Just, yeah, like a brown, she had brown hair, could have used that in her hair. All right, this has to dry, and then I think I'm going to tone this down with, like, rub some gold or something on it. Some of that wax. And I'm going to spray this. Put papers out of the way. And spray this in water and flick a little bit. Flick, flick. You flick some in here so this blends in too. Ooh, that's not, that's not turning out weird. Okay. Because it's the rice paper. All right. That looks pretty good. That looks All right. Good and I still have spray. And I still have spray left. <laughs> I, need, I sprayed out more than I need it. <laughs> Uh, not bad for just uh, playing while you're finishing up. No, not bad. So, uh, so you'll just glue that with um, uh, heavy body glue, and then yeah, or heavy, yeah, like a heavy paste or heavy glue or heavy medium. Yeah, something, something like, like that. Something that'll make it stick, or that glitter glue, or Eileen's tacky, or something. It's light. It's really light. And then on the other side, I want to find. I want to find a quote or something to put over there. Something to fill up the page. And I think I'll do the edges in that Tim. Uh, the Tim ink because that's what I use that along in the inside. I think it'll look a little better. Hold on. Do I need like a, I could write a quote over here in this like blank space. I could like fill in with a quote. That might be kind of neat. Oh, here, this is open. Here's the little mini stamp pad. If I can open it. Oh, there. See? Oh, yeah, that's teeny. All right. I'm going to do some splashes over here. 
with the extra. I won't baste it. There. This might be my favorite brown. You think so? I mean, it's definitely, I mean, it's different. You know what I mean? I like it too. I like it because it's not, it's more gray. There's no red. There's no red. Yeah, that's, I like that better. Okay, now I'll go back over here. And I'm gonna see if I can fit. Gosh, Colleen. Um, I guess lots of stickers. And also, I want to find a, I want to find a long quote like Brown Bread. There we go. All right. Where's the top? Oh, God, look at all this stuff. It's like my skin's peeling off, but it's all the matte medium. Hey, Zena. All right, let's find a quote. Where did Colleen go, Eileen? I think she's cleaning her hands off. Oh, <laughs> she could be a while. I'd love to clean yeah. her. Yeah, I started to, and it just got to be like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this in a reasonable amount of time for people. <laughs> now I went to get some stickers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't I know if I said that when I walked off or not. Oh, I was doing, I wasn't, I was, I was focused on this. All right. All right, I lost, now I lost my heart. Are they stickers or rubber ones? They're stickers. They're nice. They're like 3D. They're like a, a really thick 3D sticker. I don't know where I got them, but I, don't, but I like them. I can do like a... Make them pop more and then go with like this blue, the bilio. Can't move. It's on rice paper. All right, that's, I'm done. I lost my heart. It's on the floor somewhere. It dropped when I was. Your plaster oh, no. heart? Yeah. After all that work? No, it's oh, fine. No. I just can't find it. And I don't want to step on it. 
It probably went oh. under the cart. Oh, here it is. Hold on. There it is. Say crap. No, it's fine because it's so white. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd be upset. I've I have lost things on the floor before. I'm never too thrilled when it happens. And I'm like, it's oh my god, it's like right there, or under my chair, or under my desk, or like you said, under a rolly card. I know it was right there. Luckily, it fell like face down, so the white part I could see the white part. Um, I do want to put some gold or something over it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, Colleen. Yeah, that gives it, makes it stand out, makes it look. That like finishes it off. It needed that. Interesting, and it has the white, and um, uh, it makes it look a little more artsy by just then just sticking stickers on there. Okay. Cute. Over here, will white pen show up? Question mark. Ooh, do you Not have a little? Well. Is, do you have a little bird to stick on top of the feather or something? No. If it were more bird. Let's see. But they're pretty. They're big. Though, pretty, oh, they're actually pretty big. But I could actually. He would be hanging on it, or this one sitting right plopped on top. This is a smaller one. Let's see this one. Those colors are perfect. I know, aren't they? I was just thought, oh, this is just going to go in my blue binder when I, or blue journal I made when I saw these. What do you think? Here or down on the ground? I don't know. Oop. I don't know. What do you think? He's a different color blue. Is that the what's starting you off? He's a different blue? I don't know. Let's see. Let's I don't know if like... Um, I think it just needs a third thing on that page, whether it's on top or below, it doesn't matter. Okay. You know Let's what see. I mean? It's, didn't it yeah. seem kind of empty with just the two? Okay. Let's see. Let's find another bird. This one's all, yeah, a little more shape different. Let's try this. Because he cut his feet without cutting off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> you can draw uh, back in. Okay. I want him to keep his feet. Now he's got little feet to where he would be able to rest on it. Or could put him over here oops, on this side and have two birds over here. Look at it. How about standing next to her? I don't know. Maybe you just hear where the bird's talking to the other bird, it looks like. Or just and, leave it and then come back later and see if you want to do anything. Yeah, I feel like I, I want to, like, um, I'm getting stuff all over this. Um, write on it or something. I don't yeah. know. Doodle with, like, a, with like a micron. That's what I got to decide. I want, I want to do. Of course, I keep getting, I get splashes all over. It's not as clean as it was. Um, boom. I got Micron over there. Could do, where's the other bird? The other bird. Is that bird over here? He's a little smaller and a little more blue. 
Oh, he's cute there. I mean, you always could do three birds. I feel like with the flowers, it's too much there. Looking in the camera, see if it. I know sometimes that helps. Can she hold a giant bird? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it actually looks kind of good there. She's holding a cup, but we can have her, uh, is that one goes this way, we can have her holding a bird. She speaks bird. That's funny. Or I kind of like this with Kazuya's feet resting like on top of there. But then is that is that realistic? So I don't know. <laughs> okay. I think if I put two birds on this page, that would give us the three. And I think I could even do some sort of, since this is on a wall and this is leaning against it, I could do some like graffiti type. Or right, leave it. Just leave it. Yeah, just leave it and come back to it later. All right. I think I'll add that bird. I think I think you're right. They got the three images. I'll add the bird and then I'll come back and figure out what to do on the other when my hands are cleaner. Oh, I know. Mine are so disgusting right now. Yeah. Well, my hands aren't getting the page even more dirtier. So, which is what's happening. There we go. He's looking up at the alphabet. Okay, well, I guess we'll get off of here. You finished yours. You got the heart. So when you get, if you could do me favors, when you get the heart attached, if you could just post that in a Facebook group so people can see it with the heart on it since I didn't do that part. Yeah, and I'll, um, I'm going to put a quote too. So it won't be, so once it's finished, I'll post it. Okay. And then that way they can see what it looks like. If they followed step by step, they can see it with the plaster heart that way as well. So, all right. All right. I made, well, I made two pages and this, and we tested stuff and I made a Rolodex. Oh, so, heck. not too shabby for, not too shabby for an afternoon. So, no, it was fun, Colleen. This was a good project. And they turned, both turned out great. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Eileen. All right, everyone have, if I find my mouse, come on. There it is. I have a great afternoon. I'm, I'm sorry we took all day, but we we're just chilling. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And we will see you guys next Tuesday at 10 a.m. at Kathy's. And if I decide to stream Thursday or Friday in the forest book, I'll let y'all know. Have fun. All right, all right. bye, everybody. Bye-bye.